go Arizona. Uh, JDB747 Pete. Thank you for 62 months, sir. Uh, Dave K75, thank you for 10 months. Super Owl 26 and Cambasil, thank you for 10 months. I think we're on Breaking Bad, aren't we? Interesting choice of name. Yeah, because uh, Arizona government, we've now done all of these, and it looks like looks like it's going to force us through these in a certain order. So Arizona National Museum seems to be the next one we're doing. Although there's a whole bunch of tasks on there that we still haven't done yet, I seem to remember. Poor Brad, Tom. Brad? What are you on about, Brad? You lost me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh! I thought you were talking about somebody in chat or something, Tom. I was thinking, has Brad Pitt died? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Onamichi. Thank you for the wonderful streams. Well, thank you for the wonderful support, Onamichi. Thank you for 5,000 bits, sir. That's greatly appreciated. And it kicked off the hype train even more. Thank you, sir. Uh, Staffan. 21 months. Good morning. I hope you slept well and dreamed sweetly last night and had coffee and your wife gave you a kiss on the cheek. Literally, none of that happened. I myself got up early, went to the garage at 5.30 in the morning and put carbon tape strips on the threshold of a car and installed tinting on the windows and ordered wind deflectors original for a Fiat 500 and rear wing and other small things for a sum of £250, a little over budget. It sounds like you've been on Pimp My Ride or something. <laughs> West Coast Customs. <laughs> You can have, like, the blingiest Fiat 500 in the street, right? Uh, Will Hedges, thank you for 35 months, almost three years. If you haven't already 70 times, can you outline what's new or different? If you've already answered it 70 times, please have a stiff drink. What I can do for you, Will Hedges, is run a command called first look, right? And if I tag you in it, there you go. That video will take about 10 minutes of your life and it will neatly summarize lots of things. If you go away now and watch it and then come back, you'll be bang up to speed. I storm dog, but yes, to answer your question, I did get asked this all day yesterday. <laughs> uh, I storm dog, thank you for 66. Solid patatas, thank you for 18. Yeah, 10 whole minutes of your life. Amazing. It's my first look video, basically. Right, yesterday, biologist Brad Cook took a mobile lab into the desert without notice. We're concerned he may have taken some ill-advised substances and gotten lost. Authorities say he hasn't gone long enough to report him missing, so we'd like to contact your team for a rescue operation. Contract your team for a rescue operation. Watch the video, Tom. Briscoe, thank you for 38 months. Jappymon, thank you for 84 months. I've been scammed. The video is always 21 minutes, not 10. Listen, Ben GT, that's just, just details, mate. Little details, okay? If I say 21 minutes, you'll sit there and go, well, I'm not watching 21 minutes. I ain't got that much time in my life. Despite the fact you watch a stream for four hours. But if I say 10 minutes, you think to yourself, well, that's not that long. I'll go and give it a watch. You go and give it a watch. You don't notice it's 21 minutes long. And frankly, frankly, it's so interesting that you'll watch all of 21 minutes, come back and still think it was 10. And everybody wins. Until some smarty pants in chat goes, it's not actually 10 minutes, Squirrel. It's actually 21 minutes and 10 seconds. And if I say 10, 10 minutes is good, it works. Uh, 
Anyway, according to this, distance 1300 meters. Okay, so fuel may be an issue. Hang on a minute. How are we supposed to get over that river? Object. Oh, bridge. Oh, we're making the bridge. Object bridge construction. Need more spare parts. We need Jaeger. We need Jaeger. We need Diet Coke. We need all of it. What's the rewards? So we get 1100 up front, 7600 afterwards. We get a fine tuned gearbox. We get. Gateway to Waweep Bay. We need to set less than 100 damage. <coughs> Use the jack screw. Wait a minute. You get paid $500 if you use the jack screw more than five times. Wait, what? If, if you have to use the jack screw more than five times, that means six, then you get paid $500. I don't get that. Surely the point is not to use it. And also, the jack screw costs 500. Uh, sorry, no, the jack screw costs, I think, 1200 and has five uses on it. So, in order to get that, I would need to buy a jack screw, use it five times, and then have another one that I've bought so that I could use it a sixth time so that I then get five. So, I spend $2,400. Use one jack screw entirely, use part of another one, and I get paid 500. Well, that seems like a cracking deal. Well, I could get one from a supply drop, but... <laughs> I... Uh, I don't know. <sighs> Fellow Toril, thank you for eight months. Bobby, thank you for seven. Matthew, thank you for 17. Nitram with 10. 3948GN, 35NU, thank you for 14 months. With such a catchy name, sir. I have to say. Have you thought about selling that name on Twitch? <laughs> Seems pointless. Mm. I think I'll just go for the recover less than two and 100 damage. Also, module expanded parking. It does roll off the tongue. 3948GN35NU. Please tell me there's a history in that name. Like, is that some, is that some, like, number on the side of a box in a sci-fi movie or something like that? <clears throat> There's got to be history. Or did you literally just type in four digits, two letters, two digits, two letters? Like, how did it, how did you get that name? Please tell us. It doesn't look like a face roll, though, does it? If I face rolled, you'd end up with, like, DF49, bleh. It's very structured. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe it is just a face roll. <laughs> right, I think we're going to have to carry some stuff because it's bridge construction. Conditions need more spare parts. What does that mean? It's a calculated face roll. Calder Depot, thank you for 67 months. Right, we better get Jaeger in first. What does he do? He gives us plus two supply on the jack screw. How handy of him. It's almost like your jack screw now does seven, which is neatly what you need to do a certain $500 bonus. Truck, plus 10 meter scouting zone. Marks binocular or drone. Professional forest ranger from Canada. I mean, could they stereotype this guy anymore? Let's give him the classic lumberjack shirt and put an ax in his hand. Engaged in monitoring forestry activities as well as forestry planning for the restoration of wood resources. $700 to hire him. Yikes. Well, we don't have a choice, do we? Am I excited for today's race? I'm excited for second place. I think second place will be fun. Chainsaw DLC when? No. Oh. Um, what do we need? What do we need? It doesn't actually tell us what we need to bring. It doesn't say bring a certain thing. Uh, let's have a look. Do we need the metal detector? I'm I'm thinking let's not bother with the metal detector. I'm thinking we'll get rid of that. Can 
could have a roof rack instead, which will give us some carrying capacity if we need it. That could be handy. Four and a half grand. Let's get rid of that. Let's drop that in there. We can actually fill some slots with some fuel. And well, Actually, we can only do spare parts on the roof, interestingly. Oh, we can do fuel here. But well, we've already got fuel here. Oh, we can do... No, that's... Mm, can we use that? Yes, we can. Yes, we can use that. That's actually really handy. That's proper expedition territory, that is. Awesome. I haven't watched this video on your game. Should I watch it first since I have no idea what's going on? I would highly recommend watching that video. It will save you a lot of questions. And uh, you'll be able to enjoy the stream more. It will take 10 minutes of your time. <laughs> shh, shh. Shush. Shush. It will take 10 minutes of his time. Gearbox. We got anything unlocked here? We've already got the lift kit. <laughs> We've got the extended winch. All right, we've got a good upgrade on that. I think I'm happy with that. We will need carrying capacity, and I really wish I had some upgrades for this thing. For the step. Let's have a look what we've got in there. Uh, given the better engine, we've got the lift kit in there, which is good. Um, tires. We've got the off-road tires. Twin snorkels. <clears throat> fuel range may be the only issue with this guy. Can we change the bumper for something with a slot on it? The answer is no. But that has a slot, but I suspect it's just for lighting. Let's have a look. Yeah. Light kit A or B. I was hoping for a bit of fuel options in there. Side mounted racks, there we go. We can bring that and then we can fill that with fuel. So we can stick some more fuel tanks in there, which is good. <clears throat> we could do, Tom. Oh, I like that. Perforated exhaust. Yeah, we'll take the flatbed. That will give us... Um, allows up to two frame modules to be installed. Actually, do we want that? We want, probably want the sideboard. Yeah, we want the sideboard because we need the carrying capacity. Okay. Uh, one thing I didn't do was put a jack screw... Or an anchor in there. I think I'm going to take both on this. And then we'll go back to this. He will almost certainly need a jack screw. <laughs> Actually, there's that difficult bit of terrain that I couldn't get up, and that might be best served by an anchor. Kind of feel like I want a third truck as well. <clears throat> uh, let's see. This little guy is handy, but he's so underpowered right now. And we still don't have anything unlocked. I'd love to get that engine, but I don't know where the upgrade is. Spending money like mad here. Alright, do we want anything else? What about this guy? He's a little powerhouse, isn't he? This guy. Good for towing things. That's about all he's good for at the moment. Maybe we can...
That's quite nice, but it's locked. Rear mounted rack that would give us extra cargo space for expedition resources. I'm going to get that and chuck some fuel in there because that seems quite handy. All right, I think we'll uh, we'll go with that lot. We spent a lot of money on this expedition. Uh, Ollie Cash, thank you for 53 months. So that's what we're proposing. Now the question is, where do we spawn? <laughs> and this is where it gets tricky. So first of all, that's the south outpost, which means the map is probably oriented that way because that's, nope, that's the west outpost. That's the south outpost, so it's oriented that way. I love how the game does not show you a compass direction anywhere at all and then refers to north and south it's brilliant um i remember on the thing it was had this lot highlighted didn't it and i think there's a bridge there which maybe we have to construct so i'm thinking resources will have to be brought here probably from around the map somewhere but who knows where from on that basis i think we want to take uh, let's see. If we spawn the step, do we need to scout there? Mm, probably. And also, this this bugs me about the interface. Like, if I want to change that to go to the south, let's let's say I want to change the scout to go south, right? I can't allocate it because it's already allocated two vehicles in there, and there's only two slots. So I then have to decide which one I don't want to go there and then put it somewhere else like this as a temporary store. So I can then go to this and allocate that to the south and then come back to this and put it back. You see what I mean? It's just... Why not just let people choose what they want and then tell them, like, don't allow it to start if something's over the limit. Just say, no, you need to move a truck. Much easier. And so, yeah, it, it reminds me of the Towers of Hanoi. If you've ever played the Towers of Hanoi, yeah, you get these little towers and you've got all these different shaped rings on it and you have to stack them all in order of size. And to do that, you need a third peg. It's impossible to do without a third peg. You need somewhere to put stuff so you can shuffle one thing over here then put it back on top of it. <laughs> it's literally like that. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Uh, so we've got the scout going to the south. We've also got the... Oh, you scumbag. Did you just reset that? No, you didn't. Um, scout going to the south. Lodestar. Do we want that going to the west? I'm kind of thinking... We do need something up at the base because there's that mission to find a supply drop that I've still not done. I might take the Acteon there just to give us options over that direction. Oh my god. Right. Right. Lodestar. Do we want the Lodestar in the west? I don't know. That's what we'll do. It's kind of frustrating in that you have to decide where you want things to spawn, but it doesn't give you enough information to do it correctly, and if you get it wrong, it's going to cost you thousands to recover your vehicle. Hmm. Arrive at the place of departure of the biochemist. Okay. I've got all the fuel on board. Biochemist went north across the river. We need to gain we need to access 
I found his traces, okay. Bridge. You know about. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you for five years, sir. Not a lot showing up. So there's something down here with a dollar sign on it as well. I wonder if you can actually drive across the... Let's go and give it a scout. What's this thing? New objective discovered. <clears throat> the area can get pretty rough, but I can show you the ropes around here. Let's take a ride. Uh, okay. Yo, you want me to go that way? You know what? I might do this anyway quickly because it pays a lot of money. <laughs> uh, which way do we want to go? Okay, I think maybe this way. Building modules. Workshop, a warehouse, essential storage. See, for 20 grand, we could have a workshop which will give us jackhammers and anchors. For 10 grand, we can have a warehouse which allows us to store things. And then for another 10 grand, we can have fuel, spare parts, and wheels. For a total of $40,000. You kind of need to do the, these tasks really because you need the money quite frankly Can we stop putting it there okay I think it is this way I want to go <clears throat> It's not having that, is it? It's not having the... Hey, why could I? So slippy. Try on low pressure. It wants us to go all the way over there, you scumbag. Hang on. I needn't have bothered coming up here at all by the look of it. Uh, that way and that way. Okay, yeah. I shouldn't really have come up here. It was of no benefit whatsoever. That's a bit of a drop, not going to lie. No, I'm not going straight off the cliff.
Yeah, well, if you remember, there's a bonus for getting less than 100 damage. That wouldn't help us. Hang on, I could probably do this one first, actually. Hang on, haven't we been here before? With that windmill thing. Yeah, we, we went up here and put the weather station up. Really, game? I love this mission. I'll show you around an area that you've already been to. <laughs> Thanks. Don't worry, he's paying eight grand, I don't care. Do we trust the handbrake? Never trust the handbrake. Bit of noise then. It's making a noise like there's something there, but I can't see it unless it's on about there. Which we already know about. Down here. Somebody explain to me why this car burns 1.4 litres a minute when it's idling. That seems very excessive. Literally not moving, I'm just idling, and it's burning 1.5 litres a minute. This thing needs some stop-start technology. <laughs> Wait, does it really, Noxtron? Hang on. Let me just start... Wait, I'm burning two litres now because I'm on a slope. What? Oh, no, hang on. It's because I'm in all-wheel drive. Wait a second. Wait a second. No! Right. It burns 1.4 litres a minute when it's idling. If you engage the all-wheel drive, it burns two litres a minute while you're idling. If you lower the tyre pressure, it burns two and a half litres a minute while you're idling. Oh my god. I am honestly, honestly blown away by that. That is shocking. <laughs> wow. Wow. What? I have no words for that. What kind of coding is that using?
So we're using stop start technology then. Uh, where else do I need to go? Visit the second specified area. What? Give me a break. How can I get over there? All right. Right, we're going we're going for it. We're gonna figure this out. Down that valley by the look of it. Explore the map for 8k. I mean it's not all bad because we kinda need to explore it anyway. Can we go that way? Don't think so. Ooh, that's some nasty terrain. Hmm. There's a reasonable way down over here. Okay, guess we've gone this way. I'm hoping we'll find an upgrade down here. This is where you think to yourself, I wish I'd have brought a metal detector. <laughs> Let's go around the water. get around it. What I want somebody to do is create a modded version of this vehicle with better engine audio. <laughs> that would be lovely. The graphics are incredible. The audio, not so. Oh, the fuel full calculation is just... Yeah. Maybe they thought nobody would notice how wrong they were. Oh, there we go. Some kind of crossing point here that we might need to get. Deliver supplies? Wait, what now? Spare parts. Your spare parts? I happen to have spare parts on me. Do you know, I didn't even know that I brought an inflatable bridge with me. I thought I brought some tools. Turns out, I was wrong. It was just in the back of the landy, though. Dave, 1562, thank you for 98 months.
Arizona is. Why? That happened quickly. Oh, this doesn't look fun at all, does it? There you go. Let's uh, drop the tire pressures. Can we get up there? That stupid big rock in the middle is not exactly helping. Well, there's nothing to winch onto apart from that tree. I could drop an anchor, but it's easier that way. It's so clunky changing gear. No idea how we get up there, but we'll keep going. I guess <clears throat> we need to come this way and then maybe we can get up over there possibly <sighs> up that bit or possibly that bit like either right on the edge there or that bit you've discovered a new airdrop <laughs> I have <laughs> where is it just not having that at all. You've discovered a new climb. <laughs> You're actually doing it.
a handy little tree. I think we're on the home straight here. I still haven't seen this airdrop though, I don't know where it is at all. No, nothing showing up. Uh, Gamel, thank you for 30 months, wonderful scenery. Shame you're looking at your fuel gauge most of the time, even when you're idling. Still, if this pays nearly eight grand, it's pretty good. Although that's left the vehicle out in the middle of nowhere. I think I managed to show you the most basic thing. Now you don't have to worry about it. You yourself are not bad oriented here. Get rewards. 8,800. Let's go. Mention an airdrop. Oh. What's that? That looks like a mission objective. Rescue some campers. How on earth do you even get up there? Oh, wait. We actually have a compass when we have the binoculars. We don't have a compass when we're on the map. But we have a compass when we're on the binoculars. <laughs> Because why would a map need a compass anyway? <laughs> oh, jeez. Was that the one? Maybe that was it. Maybe that's what we discovered. Unwittingly. We actually drove through that valley, didn't we? So we drove right past that. Oh. Another bridge. Right up there. Uh, we can kind of get around there. Nope, because the map does rotate, and that's the point. If the map doesn't rotate, you could assume north, right? But the map does rotate, and I nearly got caught out by this yesterday. I actually had the map rotated like this, and it was saying that I was spawning in the southern district, but it was punting it over here, because I had the map turned. I had to orient the map based on what it said was the southern spawn point, not on anything that said this is north. Even SnowRunner has a north icon on it. I don't understand why they've removed that. Hang on, are we near the edge of them? Ancient knowledge. That's one of the missions we have. Oh my god. Hmm. This could be fun. Can we get around the edge here? Well, if it was in the settings menu, Dutch Foxy, you would assume it would default to yes. And I don't know why anybody would turn that off. 
It shouldn't be an option. Andy G, thank you for 80 months. a minute, I don't know. Even Sammy's old Land Rover does better than this. Uh, what's it called? Ancient Treasures. Ancient Knowledge. Track. No, I can't track it! Why can't I? Why are they disabled? I'm here, but I'm not allowed to do this because reasons. Feels bad, man. Just beg the question, is there anything up here? Might go and have a look at that. With what bit of fuel I have left. Having said that, What's the cost to recover this thing? It's probably a lot of money. Disco, thank you for five months. Do you know what? I've got a feeling all this fuel on top of the roof there I can't use. Oh, here we can. Whew. Two wheel drive diff lock. Does that burn more or less? Oh, just like that. I've never seen it do that before. Just not like that. In two wheel drive, it really just does not perform that well. I guess we've got to keep left of this big rock here. This terrain looks like a death trap. <laughs>
That is some tricky terrain. Okay. No, the engine doesn't sound like it's got two engines. It sounds like there's three. One's revving, one's changing gear, and one is like throatily jumping through the gearbox in a crunching fashion. And you mix them all together, and you end up with this. Oh, I've only got 55! No! I could have fixed that bridge. See, I don't know if these binoculars will spot upgrades for you as well. I don't think they do. I've never seen an upgrade through the binoculars. I've seen airdrops. Maybe the airdrops contain the upgrades. There was one down there that we just spotted. Hmm. Scan the tire tracks. Yikes. Deliver the fallen truck. Hmm. We might be able to do that in the vehicle that I left at the west waypoint, maybe. That one. Might be able to... Although New Friends looks like it's in a horrible... Oh, we tried that last night, didn't we? Didn't I try to come this way last night, or was that something else? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, that's going to get done in... So I only need to do that one to, to get 6,800. I don't know if this truck will do it. It's not very powerful. There's also that stupid mission to do to find an airdrop round here. I think we can possibly do both. Yeah. I think I tried to get there last night. I don't know why that's black. I'm sure we went up here. Shooting wild. That one. I got 34 grand. I had 46 when I started this expedition. <laughs> Maybe build the bridge first. Could do. New friends. Wait, what? Oh, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. We've already got that one. It depends which bridge you mean though, there's a load of bridges that we could get. And some of them like link the major islands, some of them are just convenience I think. Can, 
go that way. Snow. <laughs> yeah, the brakes are like cheese. Like pressing cheese against a greasy metal plate. Underpowered, it's scary. Look at it, it's like, oh, I can't do that slug, there's a pebble though. I'm not sure I can get around that pebble. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, does Enderman run the first look command? And go and watch my video, it'll only take you 10 minutes, and that'll summarize it for you. Uh, resource zone, camera trap, records footage. Okay. Stage complete. Install the camera trap. In here and here. Oh my god. In this vehicle. <laughs> You're having a giraffe. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> kind of need the scout vehicle over here for this, but hey-ho. Um, I can always bring it back to base and let the scout do it later. More importantly, though, is... Not that one. Which is the mission to find the airdrop? It's not shooting wild, that's this one. Deliver the fallen truck, visit the specified area. Hmm. That's weird. Good morning, Jason. Alan, thank you for 14 minutes. El Plagiato. It should be 70, but Twitch ripped me off a month. But still 69 great months. Thank you very much, El Plagiato. Twitch did that to Whiteland as well. And he argued with them, but they wouldn't have it. My donkey. Look at this terrain at all. I think the <laughs> the wheel on the front is going to uh, get in the way here. It's going to go doink. <laughs> go. <laughs> this is what happens when you have a big nose. Good old Rudolph.
Well, that is some annoying terrain, isn't it? I could try and reverse over. I'm not even sure that would work either. Let's, let's give it a whirl for science. Need something to winch onto. Maybe I just need to be on the other side of this creek. Maybe that's the real solution. I missed the Tatra. <laughs> Sorry, the Tatarin. I missed the Tatarin right there. What are you doing? Why are you why game did you just bounce me into that? Scumbag. This terrain is royally annoying. Thank you, Oh, I see. Cheeky spy camera. What are we watching for? It is a bit of a lurk, that one, isn't it? We are lurking with our camera. Right, trap one is installed. Trap two is over here. I'm hoping we can get around the valley somehow. Yeah, I don't, I've not... The only animals I've seen are the occasional bird in the sky. There's nothing else. You do hear them, though. You do hear weird... Um, I think the wolves or something. Uh, go right and collect what airdrop? Uh, what airdrop? Have you seen something I've not seen? Oh, you mean go that way? Yeah, but I can't get through there. If that's and I've already had that airdrop anyway. It's just bits of metal though. Hell may be too much for this thing.
Oh, I don't think we're going to squeeze through that. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get myself stuck any second now. I guess we can try this way. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Amazing. down there that's the next question I do have a jack screw so there is that I read that you can winch yourself down but I don't know how you do it like you're supposed to be able to extend the winch as well as um, reel it in so you can lower yourself down cliffs and stuff. I've never actually tried it. I could go for a full-on nosedive roll. Utilize the wheel on the front. <laughs> this this could end really badly. What do you reckon? Like there's someone? Maybe some slight bouncing. Let's send it. Let's see what happens. Whoop! Ouch! Ouch! Didn't really go to plan that one, did it? It's all right. We've got some spare parts. We're alive, we're a bit battered. And also, we're not going to get the bonus for less than 200 damage now. It just didn't land on the wheel at all. It smashed the chassis twice. <laughs> the most inappropriate truck for this mission but hey it's working Almost got it. Woo! Spy cameras installed. Shooting wild. Here's hoping nature puts on a good show. <laughs> 
5,600 for that. Oh man, that's not a lot. <laughs> Solid bond, thank you for 97. Uh, scan the tire tracks. I've got a vehicle. I can probably do that now. We've got a vehicle here somewhere. That one. It's the big step, though. I'm not sure how we get up there. Is that the valley to go up? That's nasty. Trouble is, the scout vehicle is all the way back here. <laughs> That flatbed could do with going here, to be honest. Uh, Pegtac, thank you for 57 months. I think we can get there that way. Uh, Crab, thank you for tier two, 86. Sorry, not tier two, tier one, 86 months. that way isn't it yeah you can see that cliff over there that is quite a steep I think we need to scout for that hey Raven So you cross over there, you go along here. Actually, I reckon we could do that in this. I reckon we could do it. And I kind of want to get this expedition out of the way, so I think we'll focus on that and we'll get the airdrop some other time. Well, there is an airdrop we could collect on the way as well. Oh no, that's not this one. That's the other one. All right, let's see how it gets. Let's see if we can get this done, and then that'll finish the expedition, and we can reconfigure. This has got the uh, powerful engine in it, so I'm hopeful that it'll climb that hill. Also, I don't know um, what we need to fix this bridge. I presume it's supplies. Deliver supplies. 150 spare parts. Wow. I 
I think if we go back to the base, we could actually... Can we build a module where we can put the spare parts in it and finish that off? So maybe that's more or less what we have to do to get over there. That's pretty much a nope territory, isn't it? I think it's been designed to tease you into thinking, maybe I can get over though without the bridge, but yeah. You kind of need the bridge. Need a button for it, Tom. <laughs> okay, don't turn there. I'll make a stream deck button. <laughs> Is there a reason why it's single player only? Um, I, I think the game has been aimed more towards single players, but co-op is going to be added later, I believe. I don't know why it's not in there from the get-go. What was that? $100 for an airdrop reward? What? Right, so what's this here? See, that, if we build that, it will have 200 spare parts. And I think that will let us build that thing. It's a con, really. Like, the mission pays you thousands, but you need 10 grand just to complete the mission. we get from here ah we've already got some hang on a minute spare parts we need a hundred don't we because I think I chucked in 50 but we'll bring another 50 just so we've got some repairability all right cool um, okay game Mr. Squirrel's texting me. Looks like I'm being fleeced a fiver. There's my fiver. Oh no, she's at, she's uh, at the hairdressers. And she doesn't have any cash to tip the hairdresser. So she's asking me, can I, can, do I have a fiver? I, I don't quite understand the whole concept of it, but I, I've given up the will to bother asking. So, you know, the concept is, Mr. Squirrel goes to the hairdresser and says, you know, how much is it for a haircut and highlights or whatever she wants? And they go, X. And she says, okay. And then she goes there, pays her ex, which is what she quoted, and then t 
tips then? I'm not. I don't know. You've never heard of people tipping the hairdressers? Well, welcome to my world. Exactly. Well done on doing your job to the acceptable standard for the price that we agreed. Hang on, I'm going to say this to her. And by the way, nobody in the stream has ever heard of tipping a hairdresser before. She put lol. Oh, could you not have put it in a straight line? Like, come on. Who builds a bridge like that? Like, literally nobody would build a bridge like this. Uh, the first piece will go here, and the second piece is slightly awkward, so we think we'll just push it over there. If you actually look, there's genuinely no reason why it couldn't have just gone right in front of us. Other than sheer developer awkwardness. That's the only reason that you would do this. It's just to make life annoying. Absolutely. No need. You once sat at a table that cost 40 quid to sit down before you even ordered food. Wait, what? What were they charging you for? No, you know what my favourite trick in restaurants is? Is where you, you go, and they do it a lot in like Italian and Greek restaurants. You go in, you sit down, and they know you're hungry, so they'll bring you like breadsticks or some a bowl of olives or whatever. And you think, oh, that's nice, just, you know, just to keep me going until the main meal. That's nice of them. And then when you look at the bill at the end, they've charged you like £12 or £20 for it. Are you like, hang on a minute, I didn't order that. <laughs> and you never told me you was going to charge for it. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been done by that before. It's a lovely little trick. And also, like, my daughter only drinks water in restaurants, usually, unless she's having wine, but often she'll just have water. And she'll say, can I have water, please? And they'll go, still or sparkling? And she'll go, no, just tap water. And they have to give you tap water in a restaurant. It's the law. But they'll quite happily try and bring still or sparkling because they can charge you for the bottle of water. What am I doing here? Scanning. They're supposed to, Zaris, but often they don't. It's one of those grey areas. Judging by the footprints, Brad went deep into the crevices, but at least we know his direction to keep looking. Uh, meaning... Meaning what exactly? That we've got to go over here now. Oh boy. I hope this truck fits down there. Yep. 
Yeah, it's when you get charged a cork fee when only one person has wine. Mm. Oh, this is not ideal terrain for this. Really need to scout a vehicle. <laughs> Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> this is working splendidly. One problem solved. Oh, I hate it when the tires do this. It's so annoying. Remains to be seen whether we can actually get to the end or not. I think we'll go this way. Hold <laughs> on. Have you got your stream deck ready, Tom? for a cup of tea. That's outrageous. <laughs> Can't believe I just got charged fiber for a cup of tea. <laughs> oh, this is not going to end well at all, is it? Can I get through that gap? Gonna need an anchor again just on the inside of this. Otherwise, this is gonna keep happening. Dang it! Wrong hotkey. Wait, what? <laughs> How's that work? Click. That one. Thank you. 
I mean, even five pound for a pot of tea is ridiculous, isn't it? It really, like, how much are tea bags? You get like two hundred tea bags for a few quid. And they'll put one of them and pour hot water on it in a pot, and they'll charge you like four or five pounds for it. It's absurd. The markup on that is insane. It's one of the cheapest things to make. to go explore the oh i've just got to drive around oh my god oh this is going to be dreadful because trying to get a hundred percent we're not going to be able to do it here in the valley oh this is terrible That's it. There's a drone count as well. Oh, good. <laughs> that case, let's try the drone. 'll take it we're looking for something maybe he'll be up here with his tent remember those tents we saw I bet that's him but he just went camping wow that really increased the drone range blimey Uh, Robert Martin, thank you, 46 months. Infernal, thank you, 58. I reckon he's up here somewhere. There he is. That's literally... Oh, it's an airdrop or something, though. If that's not him, that's an airdrop. It's a ping it into 100%. Probably have to move forward a bit. Oh, there's a weird question mark up there, look. What's all that about? So annoying I can't pitch the drone up to look at that thing. Conduct a visual inspection of trailer. This expedition is just...
I think we're uh, nearly there for this one. Hey, bonus. There's so many little missions, like tests and things, that we need to do. Here he is. I knew it. He's in a tent. And this is where he's cooking up his stuff. The clue is the big caravan on bricks. Is that a bird on the top, like a vulture? Okay. This is really Brad's trailer. Good thing we found it. Expedition complete. Taste like <laughs> take less than a hundred damage. I think that one ended when we drove off the end of a cliff. <laughs> it's about six o'clock in the morning in Chicago land. Noise. Whoa! Look at the finances on that. 27 grand. Items sold, 4,440. That's not a bad day at the office, is it? I'm trying to think if it's worth staying on the map to do anything. Oh, do you know what? Look at that damage taken. 225. I was 25 points over the limit for getting a thousand dollar bonus. And that was just RNG. Like, if I drove off that cliff for a second time, I could take half the damage. It's just all about how that truck landed. All right, what have we got next? We're free to free run the map. Really? Wait, what? We can free run the map already? Why is that locked? Complete urgent repair. Oh, I see. We've got to do things. Oh my god. Everything's completely locked now. Until we've done some of the some of the tasks on free roam so that one's locked behind urgent repair new areas amazing views day in the life unexpected find etc hang on i need to write these down because i'm not going to remember them <laughs> so paul which Formula E team were you rooting for? <laughs> Are you on about Apprentice? Because honestly, I thought that the team that won had a better designed vehicle, but everything else was terrible. Like that graphic they had from the 90s looked like um, Outrun. It was, it was unbelievable. Right, new areas. Amazing views. Uh, skeletal riches. The logo looked like pole position. Yeah, exactly. It was just unbelievable. Unexpected find. And a day in the life. Hmm. So there's my scout. I think inventory. 
We always need those two. I'm going to say, like, loads of spare... No. No. Remove that. Spare parts. Take loads of spare parts, because we've got bridges to fix. Do you know, I'd really love to have two of these things on the go. Uh, Barry Callion, thank you for 22. Uh, no, corpse not in there yet. We still don't have an upgrade for this. Engine. Right, unexpected find. That's one of the things for here as well. If we do that, I don't know if we can see it yet, but if we do that, we'll get a revised engine for this thing, which would be very useful. The roof rack takes extra slots, though. Love that. That will allow us to do... Ooh. Extra spare parts. Uh, I think mods will be in the game, but I don't 100% know. Never actually tried this thing yet. Maybe I should configure it and give it a go. B minus, B minus. It just looks a bit rubbish, doesn't it? Oh, the lift kit definitely improves it. That's good, good, excellent. Wow. $12,000 for the OP tires. I'm not spending 12 grand on that. We'll have to deal with that for now. Extended winch for three grand. Everything's so expensive. Selenius. Whoa, I love that cage. External, that is amazing. But I reckon that might block a lot of things, maybe. That is super cool. You can actually put a metal detector on this. Fair play. Stock bumper, bull bar bumper, which comes with an extra slot. You can fill that with a bit of fuel. on the rear stock bumper reinforced bumper and that has fuel in it as well I do like that wait where's the fuel gone off the front it's in the back <laughs> right so the front and rear is actually a combined thing Rather than that. It's like body armor. Oh, we'll take that with us. And then finally we'll take our trusty step. Uh, that anchor came in extremely useful.
Now I've got to work out where to deploy things. Okay, so that is the south outpost according to the game. That's the south, that's the west. So we're still oriented correctly. Um, base of operations. I think we've got a lot of stuff to do over here. Fixed one bridge. I'm trying to remember where all the stuff is. It's actually annoying because it's a bit of a memory exercise in some ways. You've got to plan an expedition now based on what you can remember from the, the tasks and the contracts that are available and where they are on the map. Because it doesn't actually tell you. And if you spawn in the wrong place, it'll cost you thousands to respawn somewhere else. That bridge down there is very hard to get to. There was something that we need to do to get down there. Oh, we might be able to get the... If we take the scout, if we take Costco down there... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we take him to the west outpost... Let me put him there temporarily. If we take him here... Yeah, I think there was a route that was trying to get through last night. But we can do it with that, and then we can chuck in the supplies for it. And that will give us a, the most useless bridge you've ever seen. But it will allow us to get over here. That's one option. And then this scout here, I'm thinking... This new scout can go to... Here. Because there's some stuff I want to scope around there, I think. Probably, Tom. Probably. Uh, this truck, we fixed the bridge over there. I'm trying to remember what was over here. We fixed the bridge. There was an airdrop here and up here that we need to grab the stuff from. Maybe the Action can get there. Maybe. I don't want all of our carrying capacity to be on the south. I might put him there. Okay, let's go with that. Some of these contracts. So, urgent repair I don't even see. New areas I don't see. Amazing views I don't see. Skeletal riches. A day in the life. Where are all these contracts? I don't get it. All the other ones were locked out, weren't they? So how can we do them? Unless they're on a different map. Confused.com There aren't other maps in the region. Oh... Two maps that are unlocked expedition. Right. Okay, alright. Let's do some stuff here and then we can figure that out. Right, so first of all, we get to here. I think the way I tried to get in. I mean, I could just YOLO it off the end. The only thing that worries me about this bridge is it's like almost like a bridge to nowhere. Like, when you get here, you're just facing a massive cliff. So what does it actually unlock? Uh, Steve-O, thank you for three months. And your kind words. 
I think I tried to come that way, didn't I? Irish. There was something on the. I reckon that bridge is. Hmm. There was something on the other side. I remember it, but I can't remember what it was. Maybe the bridge is only needed for that. you think of a desert map coming to SnowRunner. I have no doubt that they will be using the assets from that on this. lonesome tree. this is where we got stuck last night isn't it yesterday when i finished i had the other vehicle here and i couldn't get it over this ledge is the tires just slip and send you sideways. Really annoying. Yep, it's doing it again. And I can't change out of gear quickly enough because literally that's the fastest. When you're in this high position here, the fastest you can move is like that. By that time, you're already down the side. <laughs> Lone Star, thanks for 32. Okay, now we just need to plot our route down here. <laughs> Hang on, let me turn the engine off. It burns a lot of fuel. Hmm. 
Okay. Download ledge the Yeah, that works. Steady. <laughs> it's a bit of a one-way trip, this, because like you go down, but you're not coming back up. You might do with that tree, though. Very steep, though. Seems to take a long time to fall over. Oh, like a straight bridge. How lovely. And what was that other thing? We had a mission here somewhere. Roadrunner, thank you, 37. Explore the map. Unsuccessful geoanalysis. And there's an airdrop. Oh, it was fallen truck. That was it. We had to recover a truck somewhere. Yeah, I remember now. Hell Target, thanks, 21. Uh, Parkston Docker, thank you for 84. Hmm. During Geonarsis work, our employee's car fell off a cliff because he forgot to put on the handbrake. Was evacuate the car to a flat surface. Where does that want to go exactly? <laughs> to a flat surface. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Well, there's plenty of flat surfaces here, but no, you want us to recover it halfway across the world. <laughs> what? I mean, seriously, how do you even get over there? If you take it that way, you can't possibly get it back up. And you're on the wrong continent. You actually need to take it over here. So maybe there's a bridge mission there. Maybe. And then you've got to shout at getting it across this bit. But the amount of fuel you'd need to tow that, that's insane. That's just bonkers, that mission. You need something pretty powerful as well. Because that is a heavy looking beast.
<laughs> that is a big truck. I can't even move it with this thing. <laughs> I reckon you need the load star at a minimum just to even. God, I hate the controls. Snow runner controls. Like, you just literally up on the D-pad and you can just get your winch, but on this, you've got to go right on the... No, left on D-pad, just like that. <laughs> trying to barrel roll it onto its feet. <laughs> you utter scumbag. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Because I think I'm all out of fun. <laughs> Very unintuitive. I'm so used to snow running. just not happening it's just like such a heavy truck this thing doesn't even stand a chance i can't even flip it over onto its feet and get its engine started yeah but if i how if i anchor it how's that gonna help Dump it in the river sounds like a good option. How on earth do we get up there? So you know when you just want to look at the map where you are? You bring the map screen up and it automatically takes you to the destination of the mission. And you just want to be here. Now... Looking at this, looks like you've got to come through maybe from that way. Or we've got to work our way around here. Maybe we've got to go this way and then around the top and around the back. I want to go up there to that bridge thing and see if there's a way of fixing that. Um, I reckon you can build a bridge though, if we go there now. We've got enough supplies. And maybe what you're supposed to do is um, drag that truck all the way over here.
No, I do not see emissions. Interesting. Unless there's a... Surely you can fix that. But it, it would be a task, wouldn't it? Are you telling me you can never get over that? I don't believe it. Surely there's a mission to spend that. And if there is, we're not available yet. Like, seriously, there's no way you could jump there. I thought there'd be a yellow box there to give you a mission to build a bridge, but... Apparently not. The game trailer is a vehicle which has a bridge attachment to the roof you can use to scale gaps. Right. So basically, we can only solve that with a particular piece of equipment. So the game lets us build a bridge over that river into the most useless place, but you can't build one across that span. It's weird. Right, we have another anchor and some dino bones. Nice. There's also some fuel we could nick. And we'll have those as well. So that mission, I'm going to stop tracking that because that's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, new friends, what was that one? That was the visit the specified area, which we could do with one of these vehicles, I reckon. What have we got kicking around here? New friends, track that. Let's take the Don out. Certainly got the roll cage for it. Okay, to get there, we need to go this way. Presume we want to come in 
that direction. That's a strange engine audio, this one. It's less irritating than the Costco. I'll give it that. I do want to go that way, do we? So at least I know I can yeet it off the side of a cliff and it'll be fine because <laughs> it's got a cage. I do want those upgraded tyres though. Those super traction ones. Seems to go over the ground a lot quicker than the, uh, the other scout. Is it a larder? It's a high-powered larder. <laughs> Had one of those in Spain. Absolutely awesome for rough roads. Things. Dried up gorge. For research work, we need high quality photographs of the dried up gorge. Can you drive us along the gorge and take some pictures? Yeah, we could do that for you. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant this gorge, not the one on the other map. Unbelievable. You get catfish in this game so much. No, it's not that, Alinio. It's more like, can you give me a lift? Here's 50 quid. And you go, yeah, right, okay, where do you want to go to? And he goes, Rome. <laughs> well, I kind of thought you meant, you know, <laughs> round town. Hey. New specialist unlocked. Zarima Abdurafieva. Plus one free. Whatever that means. Minus 10% purchase price. Plus 30% selling price. Okay. Negotiator. That's what she is. There's another airdrop over there.
making noises like I'm looking at something, but I don't see. Unless it means that. So I just unlocked that one, I think. sales rep pretty much have you had issues with lods not loading in properly on pc i can't say i've noticed anything though no. geological surveys doing a geological survey oh we need to establish range finders but they're too difficult for us to reach is why we contacted you install the range finder install the range finder install the range finder Well, you have to do it in that order, do you think? I mean, how do you even get over there? Can you cross here, do you reckon? Let me see if we can get there somehow. Did a range front oh. end. Where can I get one from? Get one from back at base, presumably. I'll tell you what, let's go over here and scope it, and then I'll come back. Can I get back up that hill, do I reckon? Yeah, I can get back up that hill. Let's just see if it's possible to get there, and if it is, we'll have to go back to base. But I don't know if I can carry three rangefinders. I only have space for two things. I'd have to get rid of the jack screw, which would leave us very vulnerable. Because if I flip over and I don't have a tree nearby, I'm in trouble. So much for all that crash protection. Hmm. Well, scratch that because I don't think we're getting over there anyway. Or maybe let's have a look. Oh, we can go over there. If we have the right vehicle. This may be too deep for the intake on this thing. Don't face plant into the water. How can I be looking that way and it winches to something behind me? <laughs> Makes no sense. Fireman John, thank you for 34 months. Wow, it's really muddy here. I'm surprised this thing is getting stuck, if I'm honest.
Okay, so we can get over though. It wasn't an easy ride, but we can do it. Oh, you're damaging your low tires on all the mud. I've got 30 parts for that. But I kind of need them to fix the engine. <laughs> See, if I want to recover this, it's going to cost me quite a bit. If I go to... Field operation base. Oh, it's a free recovery. Why is that free? Is it because it's the base and not an outpost? Okay, let's do that then. Uh, so, the bad news is I can't actually grab... Yeah, I can range finder... One, two... Ditch that. Grab all three range finders. Top up on fuel. Top up on spare parts. Power ourselves. Have some more spare parts. Right. We've got all three rangefinders, but we've got nothing else. Is it free to recover in free run, perhaps? Maybe. I don't know. Usually you get charged a lot of money for it. So yeah, maybe it is because it's free run. Which, if that's true, that's interesting. Do have to be a little bit more careful now because, uh, like I say, if we flip over, we don't have the jack. So then I'd have to recover again. Uh, Reverall, yes. I have a first look video that will give you a nice overview. Thank you. No more than 10 minutes of your time to watch it. Just run the first look command. Tom has a stream deck button for it, but I'm not sure he's here now. Ouch. It's not 10 minutes and nine, 9 minutes and 99 seconds. <laughs> 99 seconds, I love it.
It's fun out here, it's got its irritations, but then most games do. I think the user interface and the audio are the most irritating aspects. I don't understand why they put so much effort into the graphics and not the audio. It doesn't make sense to me. A good audio engineer could vastly improve the engine audio on this thing. And it does make a difference. When you spend so much time driving around in vehicles, like literally the entire game, having to listen to loops, WAV files, it just becomes a bit of an irritation. Audio isn't cheap. Dude, they make millions off this game. Millions. Well, I mean, it'll, it will stop some people buying it and it will make some people refund it. So, oh, the drone audio is annoying as well. The drone sounds broken. You refund it because of your iron sound and some other things. It's a shame, isn't it? They make all that game and then the accessibility side of it and the audio side of it puts people off. Okay, next one. Hmm. Can we get over there is the next question. What bothered you most is SR was the gearbox. Constantly going backwards to back to first gear. Didn't have any complaints about the UI and snow run Yeah, I, I don't know. Snow run just works. The UI on this just seems weird. Oh boy, that looks like a. Maybe there's a way over there.
Ben Rith, thank you for 23 months. Uh, Noxtron, Noxtron, sorry, thank you for. Simon John, 34 months, thank you. Oh boy, wasn't paying attention. Pick up the airdrop. Or at least on the way back, we can pick up the airdrop. Uh, now, do you want to go swamp direction or rocky direction? That's the question. I guess we'll have to see what it looks like when we get there. Snowrunners mud games are expensive. I understand that there would be a critique if something's not done properly. I think Snowrunner costs you $150, all the DLCs. Hmm. I think you're just looking for a solid game, and like UI and audio is part of that solid game, isn't it? I mean, I play Snowrunner mostly in co op, and frankly, it's always been a sketchy experience in multiplayer. Like, the amount of desync you get. It's not as bad as it used to be, but recently they've brought some bugs back from early SnowRunner. Uh, thank you for gifting subs to Reverell, Mr. Brylar. Reverell, refresh your page, enjoy the emotes and no ads. Uh, I'm going to go with this. I'm not taking any risks at the moment without a jack. Uh, Brylar Gaming gift to do the sub. Usually stays in chat. Ouch. all that grass. That grass is nasty. <laughs> I'm going to stay. I'm going to go this way if I can. This was not very visible on the map at all, was it? This is a problem. There's no trees here. We'll get that way, we'll get that way.
3,600. Okay. Now we can go back to here. Respect for those who have to do groceries in these conditions. Well, Really? You scumbag. Springy bush. That sounded worse than it was. You'd go to Tesco in this car, yeah. Well, why not? At least you wouldn't be worried about people bashing your door, bashing your car with their car door. Hey! Do you know what? I could have picked that up on the way here, couldn't I? Annoyingly. I don't know how much to use one litre of fuel in that jerry can. Lovely. Right, what's that one there? River crossings. Install a first hydro monitoring system. Install a second hydro monitoring system. Where do we get that from? Oh wow, that third one looks right next to the base. That one's here. Can we get over from here to the main? Because if we can, we can just drive straight to this base. But there's no supplies there, I don't think. This is pays 20 grand, this thing. Do we get a hydro from the main base? Oh, we can't do it yet. I can't track it for some reason. Why would it not let me do it? It's grayed out, though. I can't, for some reason, I can't track it, and it's not telling me why I can't do it. Well, I just did the rangefinders out of order. I did them in order of three, two, one. Good afternoon, network. Thank you for 67 months. I don't think it's the order. Uh, uh, sorry, the car. You, can, you should be able to track it in any vehicle. I can't even start it. It's as if there's a dependency, but it's not telling me what the dependency is. So that one's greyed out as well. Whereas that one's not. It's weird. Do they have a fuel to the first portable rig? Do they have a fuel to the second portable rig? How much fuel are we talking about?
There's a hydro monitoring system. Tracks and analyzes bodies of water. So if I put one of them in the sideboard, can I then... I still can't track it. There's something blocking us from doing it. I could take all the fuel out of here, but I don't know if that's going to be enough fuel for them. Because it literally doesn't tell me how much fuel they need. We need contract holders to get us a fuel supply ASAP. Well, it's not that far, so I guess we can go and have a look. I think I went that way, maybe. Come on, mods. You've got a golden opportunity to run the first luck command right now. Golden. Expanded parking. Essential storage, which only gives you 100 litres. Is that all? Why do you only get 100 litres with a $10,000 installation? But look at the size of the tank, though. You get 100 litres. I don't... It doesn't make sense. <laughs> The picture shows his giant fuel tank. Yeah, I know I'm going to get there and not have enough fuel. Does it refill itself? I don't think so. It does per expedition, but when you're on an expedition, that's it. That's all you get in. Uh, Gallant O Glory. Thank you for 20 months. summarize my thoughts and stuff in the uh, video for your convenience and mine Mikey Monkey, thank you for seven months. You're welcome, sir.
I wish I had a split low guy on this thing. Uh, it says how much fuel in the top right now for some reason. Yes, it does. It does. <laughs> you are right, Mark. Um, it doesn't tell you on the description of the mission, but when you're in there tracking it, it then tells you how much you need. So, yeah. I think we might have enough for one, but not two. Maybe. Hug, thank you for 67 months. You enjoyed your first little video. Thank you, mate. You go. Yeah, see, it doesn't tell you here, but it tells you when you track it. It's so bizarre. How much fuel do we have? We have 100 litres. We have 200 and... We have 200 on bus at the moment, but by the time we get there, we we'll probably only have about 100. And we'll have 105 spare. So, yeah, we just don't have enough fuel. We can do this one, but the other one's going to require a rerun. Error, mate. I have answered you already. I've not answered you the way you want to be answered, but I have said to you, I've summarised my thoughts in the video. Every 30 minutes, somebody comes into this chat and asks me what I think about the game. I can't keep answering everybody, so I've got it in a video. That's it. I'm not ignoring you. You've been told where the video is. The answers are in the video. I'm not going to keep repeating myself. I'm sorry. This happens when a new game comes out. Everybody comes in and says, what do you think of the game? Normally, we have to put it in, like, an FAQ or something. But I've got a video this time. <laughs> on the mission selection screen, it says the distance to the mission on the screen. Or it says the truck to use and what options to take. Yeah, but it doesn't tell me how much fuel I need for the mission. And this isn't an expedition. This is a, uh, a contract. for a mission. What the... How are we dropping fuel here? Canisters or gas tank? Okay. So the canisters... I can have all of that. And then out my gas tank. Are you sure you want to pour 10 litres out of your gas tank? Yes, I am. Right, so then the other one is... It's got a padlock on it. Weirdly. So I wish there was fuel in one of these airdrops. That would be super convenient. But there's not. There's not fuel in those airdrops. Hmm... No, I can't go through that. Okay, let's... Oh god, I've just noticed it charged me 4,200 to recover. I thought it was going to be free, and by the time I'd registered it, my brain had already clicked, and it just charged me 4,200 to do that. So for some reason, the scout recovered free... Maybe the scout is just free to recover. But that was four grand. Impressive. Yeah, look, there's just no fuel left in here. Wait a minute, I need to test this. If I go to my... scout vehicle... Can 
Can I recover him for free? No, it's 1400. So why... Why was the other one... F Maybe it was like its very first recovery was free or something. Because <laughs> it was a new truck, it came with a free recovery. That's bizarre. So, in that case then, if you do that... Yeah, you get the dinosaur femurs back, so you're selling them. I presume we, we recover all these items. In which case, you may as well do that, because when you respawn, you'll get the fuel back. It's a weird way of doing it. Yeah, that was unlocked now. Remember the plus one free thing you got ten minutes ago? That was from... Yeah, but that, not on this expedition, that was the one before where I had a particular specialist that gave us that. And I th don't think we, I can't remember if we deployed her or just unlocked her, but I didn't use her on that free roam. Unless it was like you say, it just gave me plus one. I don't know, it's weird. It's difficult to say. Um... So what we could do, what if we take, see Costco's got a lot of fuel on him. But on his inventory, you can also carry additional fuel, but it's $500 a go. But, and you can't, because we don't have a sideboard on this. Scumbag game. Would that have enough fuel to do it? 15 litres, not really. Unless we got rid of all these. It's like 60 litres there, plus whatever's in his tanks. Uh, Honey Badger, thank you for 16 months. What game remote am I using? Do you mean I'm using an Xbox controller? That's what you mean? So that's good for the fuel delivery, but can he get over the terrain? That's the question. Carry 100 litres right there. base okay. Should be doable, I reckon, as long as he's strong enough to get up the hill.
It's actually coping surprisingly well. <laughs> I thought it would really struggle with that extra fuel on the back. Uh, we want to go that way. There is actually, or well, there are a couple of airdrops around that we could probably load up once we've dumped this fuel. Make a bit of extra cash. Uh, canisters first, no. Canisters first. Uh, old Buzzard, you don't have to buy it. <laughs> you can just watch. That's not good, is it? No, don't you dare. Don't you dare tip over. So we've got that, that, and that. And we should be able to grab some fuel. Actually, is there any benefit in taking the spare parts away? Because I think you'll lose them. Same with the fuel, actually. Like, what is the benefit in taking the fuel? Might as well leave it. You might need it when you come through here again. Okay, see, so there are drops not exactly nearby. Right, what's these? Take first photo of the gorge. Can we get here by going that way? I think not. I just know, I think that terrain's just really bad.
Okay, let's try a different angle. No visible attachment points. <laughs> I think it should say no reachable attachment points, not visible. Uh, oh, Mr. Hawkeye, thank you for 64 months. Gauza, thank you for 88. Oh, this truck needs that engine upgrade so badly. Pity you can't tear that plane down for scrap metal and sell it. <laughs> I think maybe we'll have a look at the expeditions in a minute. We might have to jump to one of the other maps to um, unlock some more stuff on this map. Like in SnowRunner, when you'd finished all the main contracts, there was usually a number of tasks left. But on this, when you've done the expeditions, there's loads of contracts and tasks that you can do. Like, there's a load of content that's just left behind, even when the expedition's finished. Pushing the envelope of this truck. Uh, take a photo of the dried up gorge. How do you focus the camera? RB. Is this what you want? Image is out of focus. Wrong zoom. Try again. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Okay. Zoomed out completely. Or do you want it zoomed in? Required object not in frame. <laughs> So it goes green, and then we bring the focus in, 
Wrong zoom. <laughs> what do you want from me? Like... Right, oh, now it's in green. Okay, I think I get this now. Now it's in green. Woo! <laughs> God. Stage complete. Take a second photo. From over there, you scumbag. I've just come from there. Literally just came from there. It was there, it was here. If you'd have told me you wanted a photo there, I could have gone there in the first place. Irritating. Can we get through here, do you reckon? And then YOLO off the end. Or maybe go up there. I'm, I'm interested in shortcuts at this point. <laughs> We've got a big protector ring on the front, which did absolutely nothing last time. I bet it doesn't get up here. It's gonna be like, no, oh, I'm too weak. Too weak. It's too high for me. It's like watching Pepper trying to get on the sofa. He's like, no, I can't do it. Please pick me up. I really can't jump up there. And you don't pick her up and then she jumps up anyway. Cause she can. She just likes playing the game. I was expecting that to roll back, but never mind. Oh, come on, truck. You can get over that. There you go. There's only three damage. I'm gonna make it daytime. Come on, skip time. Hmm. What equipment do we have? Okay. Oh well. Eat. See? That wheel on the front just doesn't do what it should do. It always manages to land not on that wheel. I'm thinking is that it's really hard to see if that's on this level or in the riverbed level
This is more of a scout job, really, but... I think with some good upgrades, this would be a very useful vehicle. Engine is the main one, and then a wider, perhaps a double-wheel rear axle. More stability and more power. Other than that, it's actually decent. So we want to focus on that bit. We want that much zoom. Ooh, misty. Dried up gorge. Go on, where's the third one? Other side of the world, no doubt. And the third one is all the way over here. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Oh my God. Oh, it's just a straight drive down the canyon, isn't it? Obviously. Yeah. It's just 700 metres in that direction. What could possibly go wrong? Well, for a start... <laughs> hey, there's a bridge round here. I think I have fuel supplies, but I don't really have part supplies to fix it. Oh, I do have enough parts. Interesting. I just happened to bring a, uh, a bridge with me. How very convenient. It's a very narrow bridge as well. That roof rack came in handy, eh? What? I, I don't know. I think leaving the bridge there will come in handy. I have no doubt that I'll be coming this way again. Any access roads I can unlock, I'm just going to leave. Mark my words, we will be back there at some point. Well, I'm assuming the bridges stay unlocked. Uh-oh. Thought we were going to slip off then. Right, now the question is, do we go around here? Or do we go up there? around hmm. it's not that far down there really is it I have no spare fuel. That's the problem. Go up a tree at the top for winching. I don't think our winch will go down that far, mate. Oh, that was almost like a glove. No, it's like a glove. We have the parts to rebuild it. I've never once managed to land just straight on the nose, like, boink! <laughs> Whatever works. I've got the spare parts for stuff, I just don't have the fuel, so... 
We've got 350 meters to get there with whatever fuel we have. Trying to get away with not using all wheel drive to save fuel, but it seems to just not perform. Winched yourself down though. They mean the bit where I drove off. <laughs> what, as in you dropped an anchor and just lowered yourself down? My method's quicker. I did. I, I landed perfectly on my wheels. Oh, there's an air drop above us. And I need to be up there anyway. Oh, really, game? Uh, looks like... Hmm. How do we get up there? Probably down to the end and come back on ourselves. And this is the last photograph. Sure, what it wants me. This is so sensitive. Wait, what are we photographing? There. Nine thousand four hundred. That'll do, donkey. Oh, where's the airdrop? carry all this stuff. I 
should leave one of the jacks behind, grab. Which are more valuable, scrap metal or dinosaur? I guess we'll find out in a minute. I could nick some fuel, but... I'm not sure what we're doing next now. Right, that task is a joke. Contracts are left all over the place. Seismic survey that I can't do. River crossing I can't do. Core I can't do. Ancient knowledge I can't do. That I literally can't do any contracts, so I think it's time to leave this bit. Right, so... It just... Annoyingly, it doesn't actually tell us... Wait, where's the scrap metal gone? What happens to the scrap metal? It says you use them building a workshop or something. Maybe you have to bring them back to your... It's like, what happens to it off the back of the truck? Does it get stored? We sell the femurs, but I don't know... Like, it's literally not listing the scrap metal. You picked up the two bones instead of the metal. Um... No, I didn't. I have two bones and scrap metal. I already have some. These are recyclable materials, such as car parts, can be disassembled into parts in the workshop. So what... Hmm. Does that mean, then, that if I don't bring them back to my base, I just lose them? Do I need to leave them in, in there, perhaps? Where we just leave the scrap metal until we can recover it. Doesn't really tell you, does it? I'll see where it makes a reference to scrap metal. In certain areas of the map, you will have access to shortcuts where you can build a bridge or clear stone rubble. Doing it will permanently open new, shorter, and safer routes. To open up these shortcuts, you have to deliver a certain amount of spare parts. So those little bridges we put down do stay on the map, they are permanent. It does sound like that, the sudden, but it's not exactly clear. Um, Note, inventory items stored in the base warehouse or its other modules are saved between expeditions on this map. Right. You can place up to four modules on the main base, as well as two at the outposts. It still doesn't really mention the whole workshop scrap metal thing. Yeah, we're getting a bit more money now because we're effectively selling the jack screw. You have to take it back to the base map before leaving. That's what I'm wondering. Like, if I drive it back to the workshop and drop the scrap metal there, we'll probably get to keep it. But if I just end the expedition with it in the back of my truck, it seems to just throw it away because it's not telling me what it's doing. It's not selling it, therefore I can only assume it gets rid of it. Which sucks. 
I could recover the vehicle back with all the scrap metal on it and put it in the workshop. But that comes with a price. And I can't carry everything anyway. It's a bit of a weird mechanic in some ways. Okay, let's have a look at what's next. So we'll forget the free roam. We'll go on to... Uh, what was it? There's no more shaking. Uh, the Hydrological Bureau wants you to set up a field laboratory in the area and you know how it is with the precision instruments. The slightest shaking and all the work goes down the drain. We need to find a suitable place with minimal seismic activity. And the rewards are an external roll cage for various trucks and an outpost. Recognize at least five unknown points on the map. So if you can do binoculars on five things, we'll get 1,500. So we kind of want a scout vehicle and we'll need the big truck because that has the seismic thing on the back. Um, that's that guy, I think. You will need that. We'll take that. Do we need anything else? I don't know. Yeah, I could probably take that. Oh, wait a minute. Where was the mission? Was it down here? Hmm. I really want to see the little thumbnail map right now. I can't remember the area that we need to spawn into. Just have to come out. Wasn't on the max map. Yeah, but why am I spawning on this map then? That's what I don't understand. It's supposed to be on Wawit Bay, look. Right? It's supposed to be here. Go to Wawi Bay. Map. West of map tunnel. Oh, you've got to wait. So you can only spawn here. What's that one? Is that the one? I don't have another tunnel icon. And that's not west, that's east. 
So I guess... I've got to take that big truck all the way over there through that tunnel. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I don't even think it'll go up there. Well. You can't spawn there, mate. You've got to spawn back here. Well, this will be fun. Um, that looks like we're going to come up that way. Possibly that way. I think we have been through here. Fuel becomes a problem. Have I got any inventory at all? Good morning, vinyl. I'm hoping when we get to the other map, we can set up some kind of outpost. Because not being able to spawn there is going to be awfully painful. The steering lock on this is horrendous. Well, that appeals to some vinyl rabbit. Some people like the exploring more. Some people would rather be moving logistics. Oh, that tree's going to bite me. they go fit. I think the ladder's the problem. You see the little step ladder on the side. Well that seems to glitch through. I don't know. RNG. I don't know why they couldn't put this into snow runner. Or 
not make a separate game? Um, I think there's various reasons for it. Commercial reasons as well. It's fundamentally different in what you do. And you have a completely different set of vehicles available to you, completely different maps. And it's, it's kind of aimed at a different set of people, I guess. Uh, Robert, thank you for 98 months. Doing okay, thank you. Man, this has got the upgraded engine as well. It's still struggling. Back on the wrong way. <laughs> well, did I go that way last time? Maybe I went that way. Uh, Timble, thank you, 47 months. Nothing else, I might be able to get a bit of fuel out of this. Taking any damage? Nope. Yeah, I guess I didn't go that way. <laughs> How do we get down here? That's the question. Some people said it was boring garbage. Interesting. Harsh. Uh, hmm. We try this lowering ourselves down thing. Let's see if we can do that. No, we're not allowed to. Game says no. issue <laughs> well that's half the battle <laughs> just need a little nudge to the right now got nothing else I can anchor onto either
some of this terrain was just not meant for <laughs> a massive truck like this. Like this, for instance. So the question is, how do we get up from here? Um, hmm. Is there a way through there, perhaps? That actually looks too narrow, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think we're going to squeeze through that. Just watch your videos, you want to controls. I am, and I'm not. Like, the muscle memory is very much still there, you know? Every time I winch, I, I just keep doing this. Every time. <laughs> How on earth are we supposed to do this? Are we supposed to go over there? That looks like we'd totally get stuck in it. I literally want to go there, and I can't. I have to get over here first, I think. I think... I, possibly we could anchor, but I think we'll probably end up... nose first into the water, and then we can't get out of it. If I try and go around that way, I think it'll tip over. This thing there is a challenge in itself. Wait, did I know about that air drop? Yes, I So it looks like we can probably get through there. If I went up this hill, maybe we can work our way around it. Wow. I put the roof bar lights on this thing, and that is super bright now. Good chance of tip over here. Oh, 
Oh, I would, I would get Snow Runner first, Ash. A lot more content for a kickoff. Not happening. Right, plan B it is. Hey, DC. Rasmussen. <laughs> that woke me up. Thank you for 10 subs. Gifted. Welcome, guys. If you just got a sub, please give me a thank you. Yeah, if you just got a sub, refresh your page. Enjoy the emotes and uh, no ads. Always nice. A little twig on the floor. Look at that. Little branch there. Strong enough to haul this entire truck. Out of the woods, I've still got to get up here, yeah. My word. It's possibly easier this way. Just completely freeze for no reason. Whew, that was an effort. An area is strict with water spaces, rivers, and reservoirs with extremely high elevation changes. And difficult to rain, a real test for tourists, not to mention moving on foot. This is part of Arizona region. Let's go. Uh, okay. Well, I've got to get this thing over there. See, this looks like a base, doesn't it? Look, all the fuel here. What's this then? Is it some kind of outpost that we can pay for by any chance? No, it's a task of some description. George is an instant to find out how the water affects the soil. Can you go to these points and see what the ground looks like? And will you give you seven grand? We'll click that and then. OK, 
Okay, right. Let's do that. <laughs> this, this is actually some crazy terrain. We've got to go all the way over there. I have no idea how to get there. I'd really like to set up an outpost so I can spawn a scout vehicle here. Don't want to be going up there. See, absolutely nothing. I might have to drive the scout vehicle here because uh, trying to unlock the map with this thing is just going to be a disaster. What's that? Power of water. How do I jump to the other map then? No, I don't want to recover. And I don't want that truck. I want the other truck and the other map. How do I get it? Uh, Cash Colder, thank you for 79 months. How do we physically jump into a different vehicle? Do I have to go back through? Can I just not... What? Surely I... The only truck visible is that one on this map. If I click on any of these, it wants to recover. But how do I actually jump map? Not trigger. Do I have to physically go through the gateway to bring the scout nearby? That can't be right. What if your truck here gets completely stuck and you need to bring another one to recover it? Like, how are you supposed to jump to it? It's not off that. There doesn't seem to be a global map like SnowRunner. There must be. Surely, that doesn't make any sense. Have I got to basically have one vehicle on this map at a time? Because I can't jump to another one and bring it through. Or am I just missing something in the UI? Gateway to Grand Canyon. Field Operation Base. That's far right on the RB menu. What, this? It just goes through this lot. I'm not recovering this truck over there. That's ridiculous. I feel like I'm missing something obvious, but I don't know what it is. I can't see anything popping up to, say, change map or... Like, the only thing I can think of doing is driving over to that gateway, going through it, and then bringing the scout vehicle there, bringing the scout in here, driving it around, then sending it back, and then bringing that, this back in. But I can't see how you can have two vehicles here. 
Unless I can find an outpost of some description. thought perhaps it'd be on here but that's the map screen in SnowRunner you would press the Y button and it would go to the global map If that's the way it works, then I'm, I'm quite surprised by that. Uh, Aretum, Aretum, sir. Thank you very much for uh, seven months. If I select an outpost or a gate, it's basically saying I can recover this vehicle to it which is not something I want to do hang on a second what if I one second what if we just click on that no so double clicking on it doesn't do anything I can only recover and nothing else Team committee boss, there's no way to switch to other trucks back in the previous map. The only way to bring multiple vehicles over is to tow one through the gateway. Wow. Okay, so if I leave this one here. I can now jump back into this thing. I mean, that is something that will frustrate most of the player base. That design decision, I think. Maybe, Pep. It's just completely not how SnowRunner works, though, and, and the danger is if they change something that's so it's not like SnowRunner, and it actually makes the game more difficult or annoying, then the player base, you know, will just rage against it. What, what are they thinking by not allowing you to move vehicles across maps like that? I don't... Like, just, seriously. I've got some vehicles here, and I've got some vehicles on the other map. And you're telling me that I can't move between them. I mean, that's the other thing, actually. When I pull these two vehicles onto that other map, 
I don't think I'll be able to jump into any vehicle on this map unless I drive through back onto this map. I see no way of doing that. And that is ridiculous. The game's basically saying when you go to the other map, you're staying there in whatever vehicles you arrived in until you come out. So I can't even, you know, bring a truck from here and bring some more resources. Like, I'm cautious. I'm being a bit cautious about it because I still feel like I'm missing something. You know, and somebody goes, no, 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 if you do this, but I can't see what it is yet. That feels like dumb game design at the moment. I'm surprised at a four-wheel drive diff-locked Land Rover getting stuck. Oh wait, we're dealing with grass, aren't we? Of course. Why are we going forwards on them? Not in that gear. Lol, Dave. I think what it is, is, is that grass is the problem. That grass is OP. As soon as you touch it, it's just... It's full of nope. Oh, right, great. I don't have an anchor. So here's the other thing, right? That mechanic, how would that work in a, in a co-op environment? The idea that you can only ever be on one map at a time. How's that going to work in a co-op environment? No, I said I don't have an anchor. I didn't bring an anchor with me in my inventory. I can't create an anchor point. Yeah, but what... If it also teleports you, what is it going to teleport you into? Like, what vehicle? So many questions. Mm. 
Right, so we're saying if I tow one vehicle into the other, it'll bring the other one through. Or do I just... There you go. Every time I want to winch, that's literally what I do. Cannot be used now. <laughs> right now, I'm not allowed to use the winch. How about now? Now I can use the winch. Right, so if I... Because have we got? Okay, so if you tow them, you end up with both of them. Okay, good to know. Some things they've kept from SnowRunner, some things they haven't. This guy says, refuel repair truck before going through the gateway. Winch your refuel repair truck with the truck that is going through the gateway. This will cause a second to go through. Yeah, that's what I just did. And that worked. So I'm going to go over here. Rover says no. There's lots of opportunities to fall down gaps in the rocks. <laughs> it really is. Stonebridge binocular point there. Uh, drop. Uh, does the game render SnowRunner obsolete? Absolutely not. No, the snow runner is still about logistics and heavy hauls. Uh, this is more about exploration. What are your thoughts on streaming to both Twitch and YouTube? I see more streamers doing it. I don't know, mate. Like, I have thought about it. The problem is, Ryan, uh, you then need to have moderation on both platforms at the same time, which is obviously a lot more effort for the mods. And also, YouTube's moderation tools are, frankly, rubbish compared to Twitch. So you end up with a, a double problem. 
but you know and then i have to read two lots of chat as well i have to be looking at twitch chat and looking at youtube chat and then trying to respond to somebody on either platform and people who are not on that platform get confused by me responding to some question that was asked on the other platform so it, it would get weird <laughs> YouTube stream chat is a cesspit for larger channels. I think I'd rather just do one, you know what I mean? I'd rather just go, oh, well, on on a Friday, I'll stream on YouTube or something like that. Because frankly, trying to do both at once just sounds, it just sounds like a mess. But it still doesn't get around YouTube's horrible moderation tools. get down here. Merging two chats together is very tricky. Very tricky. Did you have YouTubers just watching and chat disabled? Um, I don't know, like... And the other thing, to stream on two platforms at once, you would have to go through uh, a multi-stream type tool, which will introduce delay on both platforms. Because it has to go to, like, a set of servers, and then split off into YouTube and Twitch. If you, if you stream to YouTube and disable chat, and then people come in and watch it, what's the experience for them? Uh, not yet, Brylar, no. I'm not being one of the guinea pig beta testers and I don't have a 40 series card either. I a bit rate. What's the bit rate on YouTube? The streaming. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I could stream to YouTube, disable the comments, and then on the feed just say, if you're watching on YouTube, why not watch on Twitch, where you can chat? <laughs> Feels like a bit of a slap in the face. You're watching on the wrong platform, you fool! Get over here and watch. <laughs> what were you thinking watching on YouTube? Not a lot going on. 8,500. No, 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 no. 85,000 kilobits. 85,000? That's 85 megabits. Surely you mean 8,500. I mean, Twitch is 6,000. I presume that's 8,500. It's actually incredibly high. Have you seen what YouTube does to video content? It just crushes it. I can't imagine what the servers are going to do with it. Oh, what's that? You can stream in 4K over there, so it's bound to be much higher. Not that high, I would have thought. That's going to kill their um, network bandwidth. Need to get there. Where am I? Where is that relative to where I am? If I put a marker down here... There you go. That's how you do it. So I think it's that one. Streaming in 4K, man. That'd be some bandwidth. I mean, <clears throat> that's the bit right for the videos, but for streaming, I don't know. That is the jankiest bridge. Oh my god. Is 
Is that even passable? <laughs> That's like, take a run up and hope for the best. I have some spare parts, but I don't think I can fix this bridge. <coughs> I think you meant to fix that bridge over there. This is the original broken one, I guess. The trouble is, if I drive the scout vehicle over there, I am not getting back. I suppose I could go that way and try and fix the bridge from that direction. Oh, what the heck. There we go. Oh, that's really handy. Thanks for that game. Yeah, that's perfect. Let me guess, nothing to winch up. As I said before, the developers are absolute trolls. They are. They, they really take a sadistic pleasure in this when they make this game. And SnowRunner. They love it. The tree placement, the bridge placement, everything. It's designed to wind you up. Uh, what are we supposed to be looking? That way? Not a lot going on here. I think you have to fix this just to get just to do that mission to do the seismic thing because let's face it look at that down there imagine trying to get that truck with the seismic survey over that barrel of laughs right there I could just turn up with a janky bridge Does that mean the seismic can get through this way now, I wonder? We can get it on that bit. We can get it through here. And the survey's in that somewhere? Jeez. So even if you could, what the? Wait, what now? Is that a tent or a UFO? Oh, I can't get that high look. Scumbag game. Wait, what's that ramp there? There's a ramp here. He was wrong about the 80k kilobits, it's actually 40 megabits. Right, 4k at 2160, 60 FPS. I mean, that's still pretty impressive. What codec is that? Is that like AV1 or something? Uh, Squirrel9900, thank you for 26 months. I think if we go up here, we'll be able to get a decent binocular view. AV1 and H265. So basically, they are ahead of the game in that sense, aren't they? It's just a real shame that the moderation tools for live streaming are just... They haven't evolved. Like, YouTube Gaming tried to catch them up years ago, tried to catch Twitch up years ago. And the moderation tools are still so basic. 
and like with a distinct lack of API. Like Twitch has an API that they can hook into with tools. Uh, Ashton Taylor, thank you for 12 months. Happy anniversary. Moderate for a YouTube stream, streamer and the system sucks. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, that's not as accessible as I hoped. that UFO thing. There it is. What is that? More importantly, how do you get up there? Go up that way, go up that way. I still don't see a ramp up. The troll bus has turned up, hasn't it? You often get this on a Saturday afternoon. They've just about got out of bed, you see. That's what it is. And the little teenage lion. Mum's just brought the breakfast and sat there on their iPads. No. Still, moderators like it. it keeps them entertained. Oh, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Let's go. Let's go. I reckon this will be a mission at some point up here. But I, I, despite the fact that I've just been here, it won't count for anything. Alien activity area. No lights, no loud sounds. Okay, have a light. Is there any aliens in here? Come on, E.T., let's go. No, guess not. Boring. Well, there is some kind of mission here, look. What's that? U UFOologist's house. There is some kind of mission, but I don't seem to have access to it. Trying to win shit. What you want to do is like drag it back home. Uh, drop. Do you know what? I should have brought the. Um, there's a specialist that allows you to spot slopes and drops and things like that. I should have brought that. It would have helped. Did I hear a buzzing when I looked down here? It was a weird buzzing then. Oh, there's the janky bridge. Exist? Question mark. Uh, 
planning to try out Train Planet. What's Train Planet? Do you reckon, right, you could get down here, across that bit of water, up here, and then once you're around there, you're fine, because I've got a bridge there now, and then you can come over here, and then, yeah, i just got to get in the area and do some... Got to do a seismic survey and explore 76... I've explored 76% of it. Because I can't see another way of getting over there, unless that's a crossing point. In which case it would mean coming this way, down there, and then crossing over here. I don't actually know if that's feasible. I didn't... Actually, did I check that bit? I can't remember. I did go that way, didn't I? I went that way. That's why it's all lit up. That's the way I went through. So it is possible. Just roll it down the road, yeah? Quickest way. I think we're going to struggle to get the truck over this, but we've got to try. And fuel's going to be an issue. There's literally fuel canisters all around me and I can't use any of them. The other, the other thing that's worrying me as well is there's literally no um, no hint of an outpost. None. And the airdrop is there but doesn't have fuel in it. If you'd have left an airdrop around here with fuel that would have been a great help. Uh, I, I think I'll run out of fuel before I even get there. Have to check location and then out cause mission maybe. What you mean do a survey here? I'm not allowed to. Unless you think that will unlock it, is that what you mean? Possibly. and save fuel as much as I can. Uh, how did I get down there? <laughs> Fair enough, Cade. <laughs>
really need an outpost to properly continue this map. Or a base or something. Gear changes, man. That giant bar hanging off the back of the truck really doesn't help, does it? See, crisps, I'm not sure if enjoy is a word that I use with SnowRunner. <laughs> like, it's a, you, you tend to have a love-hate relationship with SnowRunner and Expeditions. Pops. Right, can I do the seismic thing yet? Or do I have to be like smack in the middle of the area? Don't tell me I have to get to that specific point. So you're not allowed to actually do the survey unless you're in the place where it wants you to be. And there's no way I'm getting this up there. Like, seriously. Yeah, I have to conduct a seismic survey up there somewhere. And the way you get up there is what? That? In this thing? You can't go that way. Hmm. A winch will get you up there. We'll see. Right, I'm going to stop there, guys, because the F1 starts in 10 minutes, and I don't want to miss the start. So I'll be back after the F1, and we will carry on then. Ugh. I don't know. I'll try and drive up there later when we get back. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for your support. I'll be back after the F1, so it'll be about two hours or so, uh, barring any red flags and stops, etc. <laughs> All right, take it easy, guys. Bye for now. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the F1. Etc. Etc. Remember it is a live event though. Well, it was a live event. So spoilers. Etc. Let me make it. Not night time. I need to clean my screen. <laughs> Not that you can see this, but I need to clean my screen. Um, yeah, I've, I've just sent the drone up and had a quick look around. I think I've got a vague plan here. So I'm thinking we can probably drive forward. 
and then we can go along there along there and then start climbing up that ramp there and seeing how high up we can get from that ramp the first thing we're going to do is chuck some fuel in the back that's all the fuel we have now and we'll see how far we can get up this hill <laughs> uh, Enceladus, thank you for 119 months. You are one month away, Enceladus, from 10 years, which is pretty insane. What's the truck for? It's got a, a seismic measuring device on the back, so it pummels the ground and then measures the, the transmission of the sound waves through the earth is what it is, a scientific thing. No, 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 I am exploring the area already. Um, I'm just going to go around here. We're 93% explored at the moment. I'm going to go over here and send the drone up. See if we can get it to 100%. And let's uh, park it up here. 98%, there we go. I fly over here, it should hopefully trigger it to 100. There you go. Right, conduct a seismic survey. Uh, here? Does it specifically want it there? Yep, specifically wants it there. Bruce, thank you for 38 months. Uh, watch your intro video of this game on YouTube. Like many commentators said, it was good to see Squirrel on YouTube again. Makes me long for the days off. Don't say it. Go away. <laughs> you know, that game has not been updated like in almost two years. I think he did a DX11 update or something, and that was it. I think he's, even he's like left it behind. Yeah, Prime Subs are a thing, Jim. What are you talking about, me? Of course they are. Maybe you've already used your Prime Sub. Oh, we don't have enough juice for this. Apparently. Even in a low gear. Can I grab that tree? Yes, I can. Even with that tree. Oh my god. This is like the bigger engine as well. handbrake on can I release that winch and attach it to the back of the truck or will it fall down <laughs> no that's not the winch button uh, let's go for that oh you scumbag Let's go, let's go, let's go. Spin it around. I don't believe so, Navarine, no. Astro Steve, thank you for 76 months. Thank you very much. John E. There's a lot of Twitch babies there, yes. <laughs> thank you, 80. I think we're making it up to the top. I genuinely didn't think we'd be able to do this, but... Here we are. It was the dead tree that did it. I bet you when we complete this mission. Hang on. 
when we complete this mission, they'll say something like, oh, it seems like a great spot up there to uh, set up a, a nice base. Would you mind bringing loads of supplies over there so we can set up an outpost or something rubbish like that? Wait, 32 meters. Despite the, the only channel I sub to is expired, I can't prime sub for three days. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds about Twitch. This game, man. going to troll me to the last few meters, isn't it? I'm just going to slap an anchor down. Let's put an anchor down, like, there. Right. Now we conduct the seismic survey. I have to have the engine running. Expedition completed. I'm sorry, recognize at least five unknown points on the map. I spotted quite a lot of things around here. I'm a bit annoyed that that didn't trigger. We got paid 34,700 for that mission. Poggers. <laughs> 34,700. And we got a bridge built. There's our Land Rover there, you see it? Just behind the alien artifact thing, whatever it is. Right. Drinks are on Paul, lol. Right, the power of water is another mission. Visit that, visit that, visit that. Which is doable for seven grand. That's, that's doable in the scout vehicle, actually. In fact, that scout vehicle is already close to one of them. That is going to be a pain, that one. Blimey. I reckon that's got to go through the valley. We still have no outpost here, though. That's the worrying thing about this. I can't remember how much fuel is left. I can definitely do... I'm going to... Oops. Start tracking that. That one's greyed out, you scumbag. So I literally have to do those two before I can do that one. Even though I can do that one on the way past. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Hmm. What else is on here? Gateway. Take a photo near the fond for 17 grand. Near the pond. What? These are all on the other map. I think they are, aren't they? I might just end the expedition then. Return to HQ, get our money. Oh, I haven't completed the third step. It's greyed out though. Which means I can't do it yet, doesn't it? Right, what have we got on here? That one's been done, but that one's still locked. Complete urgent repair to do that one, whatever that is. So I can't do that yet. Can we do any of these? 
These are all locked. Ah, these are unlocked now. Main exhibit and skeletal riches. Okay, we can probably start doing these then. Difficulty hard. Difficulty very hard. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. Uh, Jimmerick, thank you for 71 months. I'll give you my real money this month. Thank you very much, Jimmerick. Let's do this one then. Distance 4.4 kilometers, 3.9. That's quite a distance. Bridge construction, height differences, pays 32 grand. Blimey, what else do you get? Uh, take less than 200 damage. Don't flip the car more than three times. Recognize at least 300. That one's not going to happen. So this is bridge construction, which we kind of need to do over there anyway. I'm sure we've already done one of these bridges, you know. So all the resources need to spawn on the west side, I think. Wawweep Bay. Wait. Wait a minute. There's, there's a H there, isn't there? Which implies there's a base there. On that, on that east side. Hmm. I might take two scout vehicles or something and load, load one up with parts and one up with fuel. We've already got Costco. Which has some new unlocks somewhere. Oh, no, it doesn't, apparently. That's already loaded up with lots of service parts and plenty of fuel. And I'm happy with that truck. What if we take somebody with us? The mechanic, what they do? Mike gives us supply limits, 100% setup radius, 30% less damage. Gives us more fuel at the outpost, more repair points, but we don't have an outpost. This is the problem. But it looked like there was one on the east side of the map. I think I need to go and venture over there. I reckon we just have to visit it and unlock it. Wow. Minus 100% underwater damage. What? This guy eliminates your engine damage underwater. That is pretty spectacular. Jack screw plus two supply limit. So that's two free jack screws, I think. No, he's a permanent infinity snorkel. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how far underwater you go, it will not damage your engine. Plus 10 meter scout it. See, he's quite useful. $700. He's quite useful. Plus 200 meter drone operation, plus 20 meters height, and plus 50 meters partial scout. I'm not sure what that means. Binoculars can mark airdrops. Well, I think they already do. Lance does a can trade. What? Drone that can... What does that mean? What does that mean? Can trade plus 50 meters range. Don't understand what that means. Plus 50% selling price. Wow. If you find, I think a dinosaur bone is worth about 1200 So if you get an extra 50%, that money more or less pays for his fee. So if you think you're going to bring in... Yeah, what you should do is leave your dinosaur bones, then do a free roam, grab all the bones with him in, and then just get loads of money. I think you can send your drone back to base for trade. That is completely fundamentally new to me. I think trade means transfer of repair points or fuel. Right. Plus one free evacuation. Minus 10% purchase plus 30% selling. 1500.
It's listed on the drone, though, specifically. So the 50 meter range, I understand. But the can trade is listed on the drone, and I don't understand that. What does trading have to do with a drone? The drone flies around and spots things, that's it. I'm going to hire this guy. The drone can carry supplies as well, a spot with this. I, I've never seen that. The game's never explained that concept. I really want another scouting vehicle. We've got Don, but it doesn't... Troy Don is, he can't really carry very much, unless I can stick some on the roof now. No, he's still locked. Dang it. Hmm. I might have to just bring this guy and load him up with fuel or something. How much is another scout? Another Costco will cost us 25 grand plus the upgrades. Wait, the Lodestar is classed as a scout as well. Hmm. <laughs> that is literally a camper van. I'm sorry. Power to weight ratio, C. Great on tarmac. Can we stick some fuel on this guy? Roof rack again is hidden behind an unlock. Already got extra fuel on him. Hmm. He's just nowhere near as good as, as being a scout as that Costco is. I'm very tempted to buy another Costco. Camper Van Pro is good shape for rolling down hills. You're not wrong. Trouble is, I'll have to then carry... i have to drive them both over there as well, which is a pain unless I tow one. Because the money we've got is useful for buying expansions as well. How much was this mission worth? Wait, can you sell these? The ones that you're given? Thirty-two k, which is about as much as it costs to buy that and kit it out. Chris ninety four, thank you for hundred seven months just lurking, having a break at work. No worries, dude. Uh, Steve dog, thank you fifty three, and Kevin, thank you for fifty eight. I'm gonna buy one. Let's get another one. Are you gonna purchase one for twenty five grand? Yes. First love, a steam achievement. First love, purchase your first vehicle. Oh, you never forget your first love, do you?
Right. You're going to get changed completely. To work out what config I'm currently using. Stock fenders, emergency small, and a side mount rack. Which I presume I have filled probably with fuel. got the stock bumper on there we've got the roof rack on there and the heavy bull bar bumper on there and we've got four fuel in total and a lot of spare parts i wish you could just copy config <laughs> stock bumper roof rack heavy on them and then we'll fill the slots okay it's the same as the other one not much choice of rims Company colours. Uh, was that an engine? We must have upgraded the engine. What did I upgrade the engine to? Got the AM4 V160. Fine tune gearbox. Lift kit. 35. All terrain tyres. Good, good average. 12 grand for good, good excellence. 12 grand? Yay, caramba. I think I need to save that for something else. Did I put the extended winch on there? That's the question. Extended snorkel. Extended winch. Yes, I did. This is expensive. Okay, we're back down to 34 grand, but we have another one of these vehicles. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, 24 grand to upgrade both of them with good tires. That's, that's what it would cost. Uh, let's see, inventory. We want to take with us a jack screw. You want an anchor? It's one of those things, they're incredibly useful, but you don't leave yourself much storage space. Okay, well, I've got no money again. It's great. Right, so what are we doing? Bridge construction. Yeah, which is basically what we're doing here. Um, let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. By doing that mission, it has suddenly unlocked a base that it didn't tell us about, but we now have a base. <laughs> okay, then. 
Hey, look at this. Beautiful. Cool. We've got a base. That's all that matters. Uh, get digging tools. Main exhibit. Okay, so he wants us to get digging tools from here and explore the area. Uh, drops. Okay. How on earth do we get down there? That's the question. Is that the way down, or is that just some weird... Why is that? It's so random. Let's get the Bionox out. Uh, Fuzzball, thank you for 68 months. Well, I mean, at least I made it 50 meters. Do you know what it is? I reckon that was the new one, and it's got a fault in it. That's what I think. I think we should send it back to Costco. Personally. Oh look, you can trade with trucks nearby. I know what's going to happen when I let go of this. Nothing. New objective discovered. Okay. What's the objective? You know, a skill is a good thing, but it's important to keep improving it. How about if you can get to these places, not only will you get better, but I'll give you 9,000. Well, that's lovely, but not today. It'll unlock a specialist. It won't give us a specialist. No, I don't want to trade. I want to see. Uh, 7,000. I was collecting weather data on the mountain, but I was distracted by some strange objects in the distance, and I didn't notice my car falling off the edge. What is it with people and just not putting the handbrake on properly? I reckon he was on his mobile phone. That's personally what I think. Do we need to go down here?
So if we go over here, we're still quite high up. Hmm. I'm not sure what the best way down there is right now. Oh, rip. Well, we're going down there anyway, I think. Or maybe not. We'll just have a lie down. <laughs> hey, I brought two of them for a reason. Have I gone the wrong way? I think it was down there, wasn't it? I already hate this terrain. up here and get the binoculars out, see if we can see anything. Uh, RVS, thank you for two months. A bit disappointed that's the only thing I can spot right now. Actually, I've got an idea. One second. I want to try something out. What if... I was wondering if we could put the jackhammer here and then let it roll down there. <laughs> I must be missing something here. It feels like we just have to Leroy off the end of every cliff just to get down. Like this outpost is in a stupid place. <laughs> but there must be a way down. Drive around, see if there's a ramp. forgiving. Where's the... This is on the north side. So you're really supposed to drive all the way around there just to get down from this place.
Good evening Paul and chat, just back from driving an excavator and dumper. We'll be here until half seven, to try and get some loyalty points back. <laughs> Welcome, Chris. Uh, this doesn't look very promising. Yeah, I don't want to waste an anchor though, like because they are consumable. I wonder if I'm desperate. Is it this bit or is it the next bit? That's an airdrop up here. Let's have a quick look at that. I agree. Agree just. The only thing he's loyal to is steam. Uh, anchor and two lots of scrap metal. Which we think we should probably bring back up to the can be disassembled into parts in the workshop. Okay, I am slightly curious about something here. Um, we grab that one. I'm going to go back to this base and see if one of the modules we can get is the workshop I wish you could track more than one mission in the game Right, so the workshop module costs 20,000. And if you put... Wait a minute, spare parts, inventory... How do you put scrap metal into it? Uh, it's not clear to me how you transfer the scrap metal into the workshop. Take the anchor. Which I don't really need it. I'll leave that for now. Like, if I put scrap metal into the main base's inventory, will the workshop then just allow us to craft things? Is how I'm thinking it might work.
tell you what, this train terrain is pretty unforgiving. And I have no idea how you get across. There you go. You get across the island that way. What the? Is that an, a pump jack? Interesting. What's all that about? So, I think we want to go over here. Via... This way somehow. Maybe like that. And then, we're going to come along there somewhere. Climb up here. Maybe this way, who knows. We can hop our way around that way. That will get us to the first point. Apparently there is oil in them uh, the hills. Hey, green sauce. You need to start turning, mate. Another airdrop over there. Bridge construction. Wait, I thought this mission we took was to build three bridges, and now it's going on about archaeological digging tools. Did I take the wrong one? Did I take the wrong mission? I distinctly remember one with three bridges on it. <laughs> It was Bones Man. What was that, the one with the bridges? Because I kind of feel like I should have done the bridges before this. I got a feeling we should have gone down there near the uh, pump jack. But I think we can get down probably there. Come through here. So I think I've somehow selected the wrong mission then. Uh, Jacobus, I got sent a pre-release key. Wait, was this where I just said I can get down? Definitely will not be falling over head first. Oh my god. 
Yeah, that's, uh, that's exactly what I wanted. That, that works for me perfectly. Especially with the lack of winch attachment. I was thinking more like that. <laughs> it took all my skill to get out of that. I did not cheat, I used a consumable. That is literally not cheating, it's in the game. <laughs> I bought the item and I used it, what is wrong with that? If I hadn't have bought that item, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Well, that looks like fairly fast flowing water to me. Okay. Can't see this going wrong in any way. It's literally pushing the vehicle across. <laughs> yeah, we just got the Mondeo this time. Got the Fiesta already. Oh, the shortcuts are killing me. Right, let's go like that. Oops, I should have let go of that. Trucker Paul, thank you for 32 months. Official Mickelson, thank you for 55. Go up here and have a look. It's on Steam. I've got this on Steam. It's on both, but I bought it on Steam. Well, got the key on Steam. Okay. How do we get up there? The trees in this game are like treants in uh, Lord of the Rings. They just reach out and grab hold of you. Possibly up here?
That looks sketch. Yep, I don't think we're going that way. Let's try this way. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. All the way back down, keep following it around. You're on a Ferrari polo shirt. You could probably sell that on eBay. Does the, does the Ferrari shirt on the back say plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, plan E, question mark, followed by, I'll get back to you? That should be the slogan. We are checking that. Uh, what am I going the right way here? Yes, follow it around. Stay away from the deadly grass. Hmm. Maybe we have to go along the coast bit. I think this is where the first item is. The archaeological set. sure what that did for us. <laughs> so there's a slope up here, but I don't think there's much up there apart from possibly an airdrop. So I think we might be better on pushing this way. over the world's sketchiest bridge. There's no easy way down there. There is a quick way down that way. It's a possible way this way, but it doesn't really help you. I'm surprised you can't fix that bridge in any way. 
from there, we can go over the bridge. Up that way, and then crikey. I guess we kind of go that way ish. It's either going to be that way or it's going to be this way. Neither of them look particularly easy. Brought a lot of service parts, specifically so I could fix bridges, and then somehow pick the wrong mission. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have just taken more fuel. Oh, you scumbag. I got this. Never in doubt. Oh, you can stop laughing. I totally meant to do that. Oh, yeah, I was just showing off. That's all I was doing. Showboating. Right, last time I did this, <laughs> if you remember, <laughs> the last time I did this, I kind of got stuck. But this time, we're going to do it better. I suppose I could just ignore it and go down the side, but there's no fun in that. Yeah, exactly the same as last time. They specifically made this bridge just to wind you up. That's what it is. They, they made this bridge to just complete wind up. <laughs> it's that bit they've left sticking off at the end. They knew what was going to happen. Uh, it's killer. Thank you for one, one, one month. almost 10 years. No, the guy who's on 119 months, that's almost 10 years. <laughs> yeah, that's not... Well, you could do it. This looks a bit easier. Sorry, Mr. Boulder, am I troubling you?
That is steep. That is a steep angle. May have to deploy the anchors to get up here. Come on, literally holding the trigger down. And the game does absolutely nothing. And so then the truck doesn't put the power down and it falls over. It's just so annoying. And then the camera is just the jankiest. What is this camera? Like, give me a break. <sighs> so now I've got to waste. Yes, please, camera. Can we... Why am I not allowed to deploy it there exactly? Oh, well, I can do that. Yeah, that's perfect. Just what I want. How about the other way around? Yeah, more like that. Oh, one consumable used. That camera when the car is on its side is just ridiculous. That all happened because I changed gear and I went press trigger and nothing happened for like a second. And in that second, the car just fell. I'm reading chat. I like these hundred dollars for finding little slopes. Woo! We made it. Uh, so I want us to grab that part there. Oh. There's no fuel available here. No parts, no wheels. It's a resource zone, but it has absolutely nothing the best resource zone ever right we need to scan this area it's on 81 percent somewhere down there look fly around here for a bit Did we get that? That's not going up at all. Interesting. Okay. Scan dinosaur footprints with drone. That one is in the valley. This one we can probably go to first. 
maybe like that way ish possibly like that I've got a huge amount of fuel left. I love it. Joey, all the trucks make awful audio. It's not just this one, but this is one of the worst. The engine audio is just not good. What about that, that and that? Tire pressure's down. Alf Condor, thank you for half a year. This looks a bit tricky. Hmm. We might have to consider this route then. We can probably get some fuel from that, as long as the game's not being a scumbag. And then the other one's down there. That's saved a bit of time. Uh, I did a first look video, MMK, which will answer most of your questions about what's in the game, what's different to SnowRunner, and some opinions. You run the first look command. In, uh, like 10 minutes of your life come back tell us what you think welcome some feedback on the video if you don't mind giving it a watch
start scanning. Okay, where are we supposed to be going? Oh, it's got a light, I didn't know that. I don't really have any choice. It's like one of the best trucks in the game for scouting. It looks like the tracks lead in a certain direction. This will help us understand where to go next. Lovely. Is that the sun there? As if so, why is it still so dark? Right, I need to get to this airdrop because it may have some fuel in it and I could really do with some more fuel. saw something else. Ooh, hello! That's the first upgrade I've seen. Like as an actual, just an upgrade, not via a mission or something. An actual thing that you can go to to get an upgrade. Wow. That is a wall hacker drop right there. It's literally on the other side of that thing. Now, if we then look at this on the map, it should now show us what's in this airdrop before we even visit it. There you go. There's an anchor, some kind of dinosaur fossil, and some scrap metal. Maybe some fuel. Main exhibit. Wait, why is that not ticked? I thought I just did this. Scan dinosaur footprints with a drone. I did that. I just did it. But it doesn't have a tick next to it. I'm a bit worried about going down there before this one's ticked. What the heck? Yeah, again, a big delay between pressing the throttle and actually something happening. There was another pair of footprints, and, and that's the next one, but I'm just concerned. Did it mean footprints for this mission here, or do I need to go somewhere else? So there's no there's no box here anymore. Shouldn't it have taken that? Let's put the icon on angle. Just getting a bit warm and the camera will probably die shortly. There we go. Um, should we just go straight down to that then? Via that. I'm thinking it's not ticked it because we haven't done both, but it shouldn't work that way. If I've done that particular task, you should take it. Oh, 
for the love of God, this interface. <laughs> as soon as I play Snowrun again, I'm just going to be completely lost. Select winch point. I am selecting winch point. What's, what's wrong with that winch point? Last jack screw. For some reason, I cannot winch the thing I want to winch. Oh, now it's doing it. Maybe if I pull on that one, though, maybe it'll uh, use this tree and turn it over. I really don't want to use my last thingy, you know? I can't turn the front wheels, dude. It won't let me when the engine's not running. We're not strong enough, clearly. I just need it to tilt the truck just enough so it can start the engine. Mickey, thank you for 93 months. It's like it's like jammed on the tree now. I think this tree, this near tree, has got hold of something. You know what I mean? Like you just physically can't pull past it anymore. Uh, Battle cattle, thank you for 103. Oh, sorry, 107 months at tier three. Came in at the perfect time. You did. For tree hugging. I think it's uh, it's stuck. It's like physics glitched on the tree. And that is the issue now. Because if I can't pull it from there to here, something's a bit... There we go. Something's a bit wrong. Right, if we can pull it from there to here now. And then pull it from... Can we get the top to here? Oh, come on. Well, you see that branch there? That branch is just going, nope, nope. That single branch is stopping the whole thing from working. Okay, let's try swinging it around that way. There. And then finally, get that on there. Let's 
scumbag tree. Right, how do we get down? Well, is that an easy way down over there? I think it is. There's the sloping way. Thing is, if a Leroy hit, you know what's going to happen. If a Leroy hit, the game will just go, ha ha ha, you're upside down, use your last jack to get up there. And I'm not giving the game that pleasure. Nope. Oh, thanks for the freeze game. That really helped. Thanks for that. Literally, the game, like, just froze. Halfway down, teetering on the edge of a hill. Just when you want to get the throttle in, the game's like, ha-ha! This thing better have fuel in it. Hello, fuel. We'll have half of that. And I think we'll affect some repairs while we're here. There's one thing we did bring. It's a uh, spare part. <laughs> Get that back up to 200. That's plenty. Right, I think what we'll do is we'll take that dino bone. We'll have that. We'll look after it carefully every time we go down the side of a big hill. Let's have a very quick cup of tea before it goes cold. Right, we decided we're going that way, I think. It's perfect. really want the bigger tyres for this thing. Tom Sunday, thanks for 110 months, sir. Thank you, sir. Start scanning. Honestly, modern drones are just so better than this. Where we need to go next? Wait, hang on a minute. How many times do we have to do this? Are you serious? You're just giving us another one. Go and dig up the dinosaur. Okay, so some of the last one. What's this? Look around.
Wasn't that a... It was. Look around was a task. Visit the new view, the view zone at the top. Wait a minute. If I, I've got to go up though anyway later to get that upgrade, so we can do that at the same time. That's cool. I've just thought, if I need to dig up another bone, I don't actually have space for it. I can dig it up, but I can't bring it. I was reading chat. Do we get paid now? Do we, do we, do we? 32 grand. Take less than 200 damage. Don't flip the car more than three times. Yeah, that never happened. <laughs> Hang on, recognize three unknown points on the map. I don't understand that because you guys saw me scan with the binoculars. I found multiple airdrops and ramps and other things. Definitely more than three. Lots of them. So I really don't understand what points it is that I'm meant to be looking for. Four grand that thing will sell for. That dinosaur rib. Four grand. Imagine bringing that manager with you. I'd like add another two grand to it. I don't want that one. I want that one. Right, how do we get up there? The first job is trying to get across here. Do you reckon we can go that way? Come back around here. Maybe we can hop our way through there. Get to this bit. Crazy climb. Followed by another crazy climb. It's either going to be that, or you've got to go around the back somewhere and come up that way, maybe. Maybe this isn't doable. How come it said Jackscrew 4-4, Jackscrew 1-4? I think maybe I picked one up on the other truck. truck the other truck's got a 4-4 four, four still on it. Don't forget when you recover, it'll recover both your vehicles, and the other one I never used a Jackscrew on. We can try this. Actually, that's what the terrain would look like. Yeah, it's totally doable. And there's an airdrop there. Lost cargo. Let's go. Someone has unearthed the bones of what they think are dinosaurs not far from me. But you understand that no dinosaur existed unlike extraterrestrial civilizations. These are definitely the bones of visitors from other planets. I need one small specimen to do research and confirm my theory. They do not understand, is the mission. Where does he want us to dig that up from? Pick up a small bone. What, from there? Surely not, mate. I, c I can only imagine he'll want it picking up and taking back to somewhere ridiculous. And I don't... Oh, we do have space now, actually. If he wants it from there, I could actually get it. Well, 
supply cones has definitely a lot to do in it, that's for sure. Whether it's your thing, that's a different question. Okay, wait for the hilarious place that it wants us delivering. Come on, where do you want it? Yeah, all the way back there. Right next to... Look. Look where it is. Right next to that. Amazing. That's all the way over here. I could recover him. Although I'm not sure that really helps. Where's the base? Flipping heck, the base is over here. Jeez, this map is big. I mean, really big. Track that for now. I wonder what Celebratory happens. bunting. Exclamation mark. Hi, Paul. It's your father calling. I found your nudie magazines under the bed and threw them in the garbage. We're going to have a serious talk when you get home. Don't worry, we still love you. For now. <laughs> so random. Uh, thank you, Dubhands. Are you sure that was meant for my channel and not somebody else? <laughs> that was weird. Possibly one of the weirdest deliveries we've had in a long time. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, yeah. This item that we've got on board, which is for a specific mission, if I end the expedition and it recovers this vehicle with the item in it, what happens to the item? Does it just throw it back into the mission spawn point, maybe? doing trying to go up that mountain there because there's a viewpoint and there's an upgrade up there i'm hoping to get but we shall see Got another Ford Sierra this time. Why are you complaining about me having diff lock on when I'm driving through muddy water? You stupid game. Ouch. I hate it when it does that. When the rock bounces you off and you lose steering ability so you can't go the way you want to go. It's frustrating. Uh, come on. There we go. See, if I didn't have that powerful engine... Wouldn't even get up that slope very easily. I need an anchor. Hey, Deep Pain. Right, let me have a quick look. So we're thinking... We'll see about that. We will see about that.
Actually, that slope is not as bad as it looks on the map. Usually it's the other way around. All these trees, I don't like the look of this. Right, we've got further than I thought we might perhaps get. <laughs> Let's uh, transfer some weight over. Where's that upgrade? I think that upgrade might might be lower down than we are now. Uh, it's someone pack. Thank you for 19 months. Really game. Going there, are we? And this is one of the highest points on the map. Uh, how you doing, Robo Jim? We'll go this way. Oh, nice freeze, yeah, good. Lovely. Wow. We're on top of the world here. Look at this. Woo! 2,800, that's all we get. I'm sure that thing paid more. I am sure it said a lot more than 2,800 to do that. And I'll get out of bed for 2,800. the ones that we just came through oh no we didn't way I see it is some nice thumbnails there. <laughs> Look how beat up the car is. It's pretty cracking view. Right, I need to get the drone out now and figure out... Oh, there it is. Where their upgrade is. You need to figure out how to get down there. Okay. It's back the way we came. Down the slope. Boom. We can always, like, do the uh, winch lowering trick. For the lols. I'm not sending it because I might bounce off bounce off the edge, but 
I'll be prepared to give the anchor a go. Right, so if we do that... No. No. If we do that, and then that... Repel time, yeah. Are you serious, game? Oh, come on, it's glitched into the corner, you stupid thing. It's literally glitched me into the corner of the scenery. My like, GG, well done, 10 out of 10. What does it want me to do? Just like drive off at pace? <laughs> what am I getting engine damage on? There we go. <laughs> Mountain repelling. Here we go. Let's try and reverse this. I'm sailing down the mountain. Oh, that's that's a great camera. I can really see what I'm doing though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yep. Yeah. Clear as mud. Yep. You right there, Jeff? Yeah, don't worry, I got this. get any more glovage than that does it come on i just rappelled down the side of a mountain and rolled into victory it doesn't get any more like ugh. i have no words <laughs> right what did we get what's our juicy upgrade it's the rock crawler kit a fully reworked suspension kit for the otherwise impassable terrain Provides incomparable suspension travel at the expense of ground clearance. And that's for the YAR, which I don't even have. Well, I'm not even sure we can buy it yet, or maybe we just can't even afford it. So massive suspension travel is what it gives you. For the pirate van, the YAR. Let's go with the Bionox, see if they've not missed anything over there. What's that one? Missing Expedition. Fifteen grand. Find cargo. Find cargo. Find cargo. There's loads of it. You just have to find it or do you have to bring it back? You can use anything you find useful in this lost cargo, so please find this equipment. Very old and rare equipment. You can use anything you find useful. So whatever we find in there, we can keep. It's basically a finders keepers mission. Colour me interested. Like that one's a bit out in the sticks, but this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, that's at the beginning. Oh no, we need to deliver it. Ah, uh, okay. So we can keep the bits, but we have to deliver everything back. Hmm. Tricky one. But quite lucrative. What's especially bad, though, is the fact that because your base is over here, 
Any mission that you start, you've got to basically drive all the way over there. I think we need to do the uh, the bridge mission, get that nailed. I think we'll just recover this and get the bridge done. Oh, it said... Did you see that? Hang on. It said uh, quest items. I saw it then. What was it? There it is. Quest items. Fallen truck. Haven't we got something in the back of this? I need to... Dinosaur bone. I need to deliver this somewhere, don't I? Oh, which mission was this? It was this one, wasn't it? Meant to drop that off there. Oh, that's a long way. That is a long way. How can we hack this? That had some fuel, if I remember. I wonder if that's got fuel in it. You said you can keep anything you find. It's probably just items, though. The problem is with this is, like, how do you get down? I suppose you can rappel down again. And then make your way over here. Back the how did we did we get this way? I think it was this way. I can't remember exactly how we got up there. I think I know we came up that bit, so we must have come round here. Maybe we're like that. I am running out of bits of kit though. No, wrong button again. to attach the front to the to that but I think it must be out of range or something because it won't it's just bugged out again it did this before it wouldn't let me select it It's all very well having this ability to raise and lower your vehicle, but the edge of the cliffs, the physics is like very weird and it kind of often glitches you into it. And there's not a lot I can do. Not a lot I can do. We're just jammed in between the rocks. Oops, indeed. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this one, we just returned to headquarters. Dinosaur bone. I think... I don't know what it's going to do with this. Whether this will be back at the base when we start, I don't know. We need to check. Uh, let's see. Right, is this the bridge one? Nope. That's a new one as well now. That's still locked. This one has a new one. Hidden Treasures of the Ford. That's on a new on the other map now. That's basically unlocked that area. Yeah, look, objects, bridge construction. This was the one that I said I wanted to do. I did choose the right mission. But we didn't really have to construct bridges at all. It's all about a skeleton. 
but it says objects bridge construction. That confused me into thinking that's what we'd be doing. That's skeletal riches, that's a bit nearer. That says it's, uh, it's very hard, this one. Watery terrain. We found one Triceratops, why couldn't there be two? We found several promising locations in the area we'd like to, you to excavate. If you run out of tools, check the lost toolbox. We should have spares in there. And for this, we'll unlock an engine upgrade for something. I really hope it's the, um, you know, the truck, the flatbed four-wheeler. The one that's underpowered. I really hope it's an engine for that. I'm going to take both of these again. But I might reconfigure... Take fuel instead. Because we were running out of fuel then. I'll, I'll take three parts. That's 150 parts, which is usually enough for a bridge. So we'll reconfigure that one. We're getting dinosaur bones, but they are quest items, so we might not be able to sell them. But he's 700, and treasure items sell at a better value. I reckon we take him. We'll take a manager. That's what we need. We need a manager. Plus 100 litre fuels at the outpost, plus 200 repair points. Probably don't need that yet. Plus 5 supplies limit. That makes your anchors a lot more useful, and the setup radius is much bigger. And it reduces truck. Like, the mechanics seems to be, for $600, like a pretty good bet, doesn't it? What we're missing is a very capable vehicle that can go across difficult terrain and carry stuff. Like if we could put the roof box on that, which we can't, but there's like a flat roof upgrade that you can get that can carry things. I think it's still locked. Oh no, we have the no, not that one. I think I'm thinking of a different thing. No, I'm thinking of a different thing. Wait a minute. You can get a spotlight mount, which then allows you to... The spotlight mount is an extra slot, but not for a light. It's an extra roof slot. Ah, uh, there we go. Like kit A and B. E. Like kit B. Like literally, there's only one choice of where you spawn. Thank you. 
how bright those lights are. Look at that. At least 100 lumens. Especially those new ones on the roof. Look how bright they are. <laughs> right, get the digging tools, it says. it make you drive over here to get the digging tools like specifically that down a ledge just to wind you up it's just a massive wind up right there are two of them archaeological sets including shovels and brushes now why are there two of them do I need two of them I'll put just one in this and one in the other one. Pick up spare tools. Optional. Hmm. <laughs> optional, you say? <laughs> and then there are three dig sites. Yeah. So you need one for each one, but you've carried two and the other one's optional. I don't I don't buy this. I'm not buying this story. One, two, right, okay. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna leave that one alone. I can always take the other vehicle to that one. We're gonna head to that one. And we're gonna go across that river crossing there. We need to explore our way up here. I'm not sure the best way to get to that is. Probably through there somewhere. Maybe across that rocky bit. Doesn't really matter. To get down here, the normal long way is that way. I think that's a disaster if I remember. Optional as you need. Yeah, I don't think you can get through here, if I remember. Maybe you can rappel down there. And then rappel down there. Oh, we came here before. Did I go that way? Maybe I went down there. I don't know. Is it worth wasting an anchor? We've got ten anchor now because we've got this guy with us. He's just increased our radius and everything. Let's see how janky this is again. It's almost like the guy who did the bungee jump off a bridge and the rope was just a little bit too long. <laughs> I want to put it in reverse and do that. There you go. Let me put it into forward and release it. Four wheels, let's go. 
<laughs> right, should we try that again? If we're going to leap off here, I might as well go to this end and do it. <coughs> yeah, I, I carefully took 23 damage to the face. That's what just happened. Ouch. Yeah, it looks like an alright spot, doesn't it? Okay. Have another go. What do you mean no attachment points visible? What do you think that is? Right. It's got me worried now. <laughs> well. It's going a little bit better. Not not a huge amount. It's still a bit unreliable, this, isn't it? Hang on, if we diff lock, we can get some traction out of that front wheel. There you go. Yeah, it's not like super easy to pull off, but you, I am getting a little bit better at it. I was waiting for that. Yeah, I think last time I just went down here, didn't I? It's come back game. That was almost flawless execution. Uh, what? I, I could have gone the long way, but I just saved 10 minutes and took a bit of damage, so I'm alright with that. Let's just check where we are. Okay. I think we went this way. No. No. Right, can I just bring a chainsaw with me? Because honestly, these trees are exactly where they need to be to be a real pain. And it sends you around the outside and a few boulders there and that's just enough to tip you over the edge. Actually, the mechanic's given us, what, 50% reduction in damage? So, all that damage we've been taking is half damage. <laughs> wow. I reckon Mike the mechanic's worth having most times, actually. Ugh, come the wrong way again. 
Come on, Mike, do your job. Hey. Def lock inside lane. Have a waterproof. Just think, if you took the, uh, who's that guy? Uh, what's he called? A hydro something or other. Like, he eliminates all engine damage underwater. That's insane, that is. It's like a permanent snorkel for all your vehicles. Yeah, it's Aquaman. Not been over here yet. That's a bit tricky, isn't it? There's some serious boulderage going on there. Just having the right equipment makes a big difference. Like that extended winch just makes a massive difference though. Don't know why, but it's just pulling us over to the right massively. Complete new territory here. Let's have a little look see. Alright, we've got a bridge up ahead, we can probably build that. Don't see anything on here. Uh, Lieutenant Den, thank you for 26 months. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to find a four Capri, but they're a little bit rare now, you know? Right, how many points do you need for this, I wonder? 75. That'll do. So we'll build you a bridge, but we won't change the terrain in front of it. We'll just leave that as an absolute mess. Because that's what you would do if you built a bridge.
Itchy face. Ian, thank you for 97 months, sir. Adobe, thanks for gifting a sub to Aris. The approach to that is just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Like... <laughs> You build a bridge and it's just... <sighs> crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. DMC Tom, thank you for 20 months. So another mission here. Um... That's an interesting looking vehicle. I'm sure I used to have a toy like that when I was a kid. All right, let me get this delivered. to check the rest of the points. Gee, I wonder what will happen with the other two points. Why is there just a massive hole in the floor? Nope, not been here. First time over here. Another victim of the handbrake epidemic. Well, I suspect this mission here might have something to do with it. Can you cover our vehicle? I was collecting weather data on the mountain, but I was distracted by a strange object in the distance. I didn't notice my car falling off the edge. Can you please pull this car out and deliver it to the outpost? Like, it's miles away. Like, seriously, look how far away. You have to drag that somehow all the way up here. It's a pain just to get down, yet alone up it. You know? Yeah, I am complaining. You it? Yeah. I am complaining. Okay. So Turn what? Right yeah, the game's rubbish. <laughs> That's why I'm playing it. You gotta complain about it. Lawn lawn, will you please? <laughs> well, at least we've got this one on its wheels anyway. Tell you what, though, to drag that back, that'd be some tricky challenge. You'd need a powerful vehicle for that. I reckon the Lodestar, maybe, but that's about the only scout that can get that back. But I think we need the um, serious upgrades on the Lodestar. Okay, right. Uh, second sight, that's the one, that's two. Now we're into the realms of no idea if we can even cross this, but we're going to head that way and see what happens. Could really do with finding an airdrop. So, no, let's do that. Terrain is absolutely crazy. New headlights. Did I get my fiver back? The hairdresser's got the fiver. I'm never going to see that fiver again. She didn't borrow that fiver. 
I basically tipped the hairdresser, that's what happened. Really? Surely there's an airdrop round here. Follow this valley. see anything that way. Hmm. We'll keep pushing. Let's see where this all goes. We may have to go via that big tree there, you see it? I think we'll go that way, actually. It looks like we can hop our way over. Stop. It's picked up something. Ooh, an upgrade. Bridge. I did not see that, though. Thanks, Mike. Oh, we found the Capri. We got the Mondeo, the Capri. What have we got now? Mondeo, Capri, Fiesta. I want the Sierra next. No, I want the Sierra, then I, then I want the Transit. That's a big tree. We should keep left and go up that valley. Scorpio? Blimey. Thanks, Mike. Never heard of the probes, so no. I doubt you'd call a car probe in this country. People probably just giggle at if you called it a probe. Oh my god. And still not a single airdrop. Oh look, there's one.
Probably was kind of like a Mitsubishi Eclipse. Is that like a SUV type thing? I'm gonna need to check the um, drone. You can probably either go that way or possibly that way. The real Eclipse, not the new junk SUV. <laughs> Do you know what? I've never, thinking about it, I've never owned a Mitsubishi. It's one of the brands I've just never owned. Of the all cold sinus. <laughs> I've heard people with Mitsubishi Evos like they're quite expensive to run, aren't they? Are you serious? You almost did. You went for an electrical test drive and the electrical stuff, none of it worked. The best uh, sales guy I, I ever went to, right? He was like one of those, um, he didn't, he didn't, oh God. Ooh, that was close. He didn't have his own dealership. He was like a car dealer selling from his home. It was one of those things. And uh, I sat in the car and, you know, it seemed okay. And literally, I started just checking everything. So I opened the sunroof and when I did the sunroof, you could literally hear it like make a weird noise and then it got stuck and wouldn't shut. And then I wound all the windows down. The one at the back went down, stuck. And then you could hear it when you tried to wind it back up. It was like going kick, 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 like this and it wouldn't go up. And he had to put his hands on it and lift it up. And he went, bit of WD-40 will fix that. It's fine. I'm <laughs> like... A bit WD-40, what kind of mug do you think I am? So I just left. I was like, nah, I'm good, mate. <laughs> You've got a right pup here and I'm not buying it off you. Forget about it. Bit of WD. For years, my friend and I used to joke about that statement. Like every time we saw something just completely wrecked, we're like, oh, a bit of WD-40 will fix that. Just because of that guy. I, I can't remember what car it was. It was quite a while ago and I just can't remember. Oh no! It's empty! Now we have to go to the third site. Which unfortunately means we need the optional dinosaur. Oh. How unexpected. Whoa, there's a bird right in front of me. Look at this. Wow, there's a huge plateau up there. You see it? If I had a drone and it sounded like this, I'd take it back to the shop. <laughs> I reckon a bit of WD-40 would fix that drone, yeah, absolutely. Right, spare tools, we need to go here. And then, dig site is there. Which I assume we can get at by going... Over here. Nope, hang on. Go maybe this way? I don't know how we get up that plateau. That looks very steep. Mm. 
maybe through there. May be able to get a scout through that. Get down the coast, run along the coast, up over there. We just got to get ourselves down the side of the hill again. Yeah, a bit of WD to fix that T-Rex as well, no problem. Condiment, thank you for 81 months. Uh, DMC Tom, did I say thank you for 20 months? Thank you. over here for a bit more careful. Did I bring all the stuff with me? Or what stuff? I have to go and pick up the thing from the first stop. That's what you mean. Annoyingly, I hired a manager. What the? Did that tree just grow? Dude. I hired a manager so that I get 50% more on treasure and I've not found a single piece of treasure. It's slightly annoying. Thanks, Mike. What do you mean, no winch attachment points? There's literally a tree there. Give me a break. Actually, I'll probably just do the anchor thing. I've got more anchors than anything else. Wait, I can start the engine, but I can't turn the wheel. There we go. Scumbag. I thought I'd be able to reach those trees, if I'm honest. Just out of range. We good. Whoa. 
unnecessary. Right, we're going to get the optional item. I would love to know if it's basically 100% scripted that you will have to do all three, or whether there's a small chance that you can get away with only doing two, like there's a little bit of RNG. I'm not yeeting us, dude. <laughs> oh, look, the winch is broken again. That's a great camera angle. I can totally see what I'm doing. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> the game does not help you. Is it a new game? Yes, it is. You get to run over cacti in this game. Oh! Those cheese breaks almost fail me. No visible attack. What? You literally sat next to one. I think I've got the hang of that now. Alright, let's see if we can run the coastal route. We need to get over there, but I think we have to go this way to do it. One sec, I need to drink a cup of tea. Passable. Hey, we just found the Sierra. Nice. Next one's transit. What? What? You, what? what? Keep... <laughs> I just took damage, diff lock damage. 
because of the terrain I'm on. I was on a hard surface for all of about two seconds. And this is not a hard surface. Going in a straight line damages the diff lock, apparently. Who knew? Even Mike never didn't know that one. Mike's scratching his head going, what? So they kept that from SnowRunner. Sneaky. That's a bit deceiving. How can there be a red line here? I can literally see the mud, unless it's just going to collapse. It looks like it should be passable. That's very really strange. I mean, I can see it going off a bit of a cliff there. Like there. God, stupid control. The trouble is, if I go in there, the engine will cut. And then I'll only, I'll only be able to use the winch. And if the winch can't get me back out again, that's it. We're done. I don't trust this game enough. Yep, same developer, same publisher. Oh, you skip back. That was just totally unexpected. That water looks crossable to me. Oh well. It was a trap, there's no doubt about that. Most of that is drivable, but then that bit in the middle will just take you. Oh, you can build a bridge. actually a bridge building point here. Just as well I brought stuff, because otherwise there's no way we were getting over there. Yeah, apparently there's some equipment later on that you can get that helps, where you can... I don't know how it works. Some equipment that can go across a gap without building a bridge.
Let's go. Expedition complete. 28,500 plus a thousand bonus. Didn't get any, uh, didn't get any uh, treasures, unfortunately. But it is possible that the stuff on the map that I could get. Oh, there's so many things to do. Look at this. Missing expedition. There's loads of cargo over here. None of which is anywhere near us. Seismic resistance. Conduct a seismic survey. Hidden traces. Check the area for tracks. Install a trap camera in three places. Not a million miles from that scout vehicle. Yeah. Right. It's eight o'clock, guys. I'm going to stop that. Uh, right. Tomorrow I am out in the morning, so I'll be back early afternoon, and then I'll stream when I get back. So uh, I don't know. I think it will be... What time did I say? Around two-ish. I'm, I'm aiming for two o'clock. I'm out in the morning, but I'm aiming for two. Um, I should make it. I should make it back. But if I'm a bit late, it means I got stuck in traffic or something. <laughs> right, hope you enjoyed the stream, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for all your support, as ever. I shall be back tomorrow, round about 2 p.m. And we'll carry on. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday, whatever you're doing. But yeah. That's it from me. Take it easy, guys. Love you all. Good night.